is Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking, breaking news. Gang, gang, gang capital of the nation. This, this. this is Los Angeles. This is Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking news. Gang, gang, gang capital of the nation. This is Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking, breaking news. This, this, this. this is Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking news. This, this is Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking, breaking news. Gang, gang, gang capital of the nation. Welcome back, everyone, to News with Norbies, where we give you the ghetto news from an unprofessional perspective. 
I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I know it's Christmas Eve. You guys are eating pozole and tamale and sipping on grandma's cough syrup. I see you. Uh, make sure you guys don't drink and drive because you might spill your drink. <laughs> Anyways, other than that, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Everybody in the live chat. Everybody who decided not to be on the live chat. Everybody who like, comment, subscribe, dislike. It doesn't matter. You guys are still watching. I appreciate y'all. Merry cheese, man. Merry crystal. Merry Christmas. However you guys feel, just don't. Call it happy holidays, okay? Don't happy holiday me. It's Merry Christmas, all right? You guys don't have a problem saying happy Halloween, but only when Thanksgiving and Christmas comes around, all of a sudden we get offended. We're going to talk a little bit about that, okay? So don't get your panties in a bunch. Other than that, uh, if you guys didn't get a chance to check out the interview with um, Amanda Carrera, the LA Dodger girl, make sure you guys definitely go check that out. You'll definitely do you, you guys will definitely enjoy that i definitely enjoyed it so much love and respect to her and to all the other artists that i've had here all this year but we're not going to waste any time we're going to go ahead and jump right into it with the one and only norbis hey norbis how are you good tony happy holidays <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm good, Tony. I'm good. And I, I'm glad you mentioned, uh, um, oh, man, I'm horrible with names. Amanda? Amanda Carrera. Yeah, it was. she was a great artist, man. Yeah, she really yeah. is on her ship and her team. Her team was yeah, here yeah, and very yeah. supportive. I love seeing an artist that has a good, solid team behind them, you know, always looking out for them. Yes, yes, absolutely. You know, I was just wondering, because I was looking at your outfit. You came dressed like... I did. I came with the holiday spirit. <laughs> the holiday spirit, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I like to, you know, consider myself a, uh, not an elf, more of a troll. Troll? More of a troll. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, so a troll with the holiday spirit? A troll with the holiday spirit, Exactly. Okay, okay. You know, I, I wanted to ask you this. Why would it, it offend people today to say Merry Christmas? Why do you think? I don't know. I mean, I mean, I think it's the same thing as people, you know, not saying have a gay old time. But, Just, but that was in the Flintstones. We used to sing, have a gay old time. Yeah. I used to sing it as a kid, and we weren't gay. <laughs> You know, so at least not like this game. But now you know you now. But now you have you know Mary. You know you got all these pronouns. Oh yeah. You know adjectives. My adjectives. Like, I'm not a Mary. Yeah. Okay. Well. All right. <laughs> but like now, here's my thing. Okay, at my job where I used to work, yeah. we had a supervisor named Mike, and um, of course he was a white guy, and he told me one day. Uh, we're going to start stop uh, saying Merry Christmas, everybody. We don't want to offend anybody. We're just going to say Happy Holidays. Yeah. So I said this, Mike, this is the way I talk to the supervisors. Yeah. Yeah. Don't come with that shit. Because yeah. last month you told me Happy Halloween, bro. <laughs> you said to you and your family. So now all of a sudden Thanksgiving, yeah. all of a sudden Christmas, saying Merry yeah. offends people. Yeah. So what part of Merry Christmas just hurt you? You know what? It, it, it didn't hurt me. You know, so but that was my question yeah. to him. He was like, uh, uh, meeting's over, Antonio. <laughs> like, you know, but I was like, dude, like, I'm not going to go around saying that shit. We've been saying Merry Christmas. I'm, I'm 55 years old yeah. since I've been a kid, bro. And yeah. it's never offended anybody. No, I, I, I never would see what I, but I, I guess, again, it all comes down to politics, Tony. It's all politics. I mean, they want everybody to be included in everything, you know. And that that I mean, it's it's a uh, it's unavoidable. You kind of want to say one word to k keep everybody in there. I mean, you don't want to offend the Jews. You don't want to meet the offend the people that say Happy Kwanzaa. You know. See, if they told me that, I wouldn't give a shit, bro. Yeah. Oh, cool, man. Go get yours. Yeah. You know, uh, awesome, yeah. pal. Yeah. You know, but Merry Christmas. Oh, that was a dagger in the heart. Uh, you know. I mean. <laughs> The Catholic have done a lot of shit to, you know, offend people. Yeah, but... You might want to blame them. I don't... Well, they ain't do shit to me. Yeah, they did shit to a lot <laughs> more people. <laughs> but but I, don't, I don't see too much of a harm. I mean, just the word Mary, then you have Christmas. I mean... Maybe because it, it, it's it, Christ? Maybe because it's Christ. Or maybe because, you know... Jews don't like to be left out. and Because I don't but know But Jesus was a Jew. That's the thing that gets me. They just didn't like him. That's what it was. Yeah. 
But you know, they don't like to be left out. You know, you 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 say the what about the native Native American genocide? The Jew comes out. Well, what about the Jewish one? <laughs> All right, all right. I don't know. Just some people, they 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 feel offended, and they they and then other people just say, you know what? Let's just make a word to include everybody. Let's just say happy holidays. Okay, here's where I think all that started. This is just me. Yeah. When Obama was in office, mm. hit what some of his first speeches was. You know, um, America's not a Christian nation. He said we're a nation of Muslims, Christians, Hindus, Buddhists, Catholic. He included everyone, Dang, bro. The whole roster. Yeah. So really what he was saying, if Merry Christmas, you know, offends a Muslim, stop saying it. Even though you have freedom of speech and freedom of religion, yeah. but you might offend them. Yeah. So let's just, let's waive our constitutional rights. Yeah. And let's uh, bend over backwards for these people that come from a different country. Yeah. They didn't move yeah. to another Islamic country. They came to a Christian country. Yeah. And, but they don't like our rules here. So let's not offend them. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, that. It, it, it's harder for me to, uh, to agree with you on that one, Tony. I for, understand. The only for the reason because, you That's know. That's what makes the show interesting. You know why? Because it takes me back to a time where, where the whites were only keeping the colors out. You know, this is our country. This is our place. Good Christian values. You guys go and sit over there and drink that water. Eat shit over there. Eat over there. Sit over there. And that's, that, that's the part where I'm thinking, like, that, that's what it reminds me of when that I hear something like that. That's this is a Christian place. Yeah, I, and it, it is. It started off like that. Right. But eventually we found out that these Christ, a lot of these Christians didn't like everybody else. Now, is it safe to say, though, that not everybody that says they're a Christian is a Christian? Mm, but at this point, there's a, from what I've seen, there's a diverse... It's a diverse group when it comes to the word Christian. Is it safe to say that everybody that calls itself Catholic is not Catholic? Yeah. Is it safe to say everybody that claims to be Muslim? And, is I, and I never not understood that part because every you ask di different Christians, they're all going to say, I'm the real Christian. <laughs> like, well, how is it that you are and they are, they're not? Right, you know? right. That, that's, that, that's what trips me out. And the same thing with Catholics, same thing with the Jews. You ask the Jew about the Israeli Jews, and they'll tell you those are Zionist Jews. Those aren't Jew Jews. Jew Jews. Jew Jews. That's a good name. Yeah. Jew Jew. Okay. And then it's crazy. It, it's always it's okay, always so, something. Okay, so here's here's how the how the meeting ended at work. Yeah. So I said, okay, I'll use Happy Holidays, and he was a white guy. I said, yeah. Oh, excuse me, sir, but the people that know speak only English, how do we say Happy Holidays in Espanol? <laughs> He said, meeting's over, Antonio. <laughs> How do we say it, guys? How do we say happy holidays in Espanol? How do we say it? We don't want to offend anybody. Wait, you know, that made me think, what, what does Navidad mean? Navidad? You tell me. I, I just said it. Wait, you got it, Alex? No? No. Do, do you know? Yes, I do know. How could you not know? <laughs> I, I just wait, wait for the gifts. Oh, Google it. All right, Alex, I need you to put in the live chat. I need you to put on the live chat and put this. Um, does Merry Christmas offend you? Mm. Or should we put, is it, happy, is it Happy Holidays or Merry Christmas? Oh, is it Happy Holidays or Merry Christmas? Yeah. Oh, I'm, yeah, you cool. know what? I'm curious to see. Is it Happy Holidays or Merry Christmas? I got a feeling 18% is going to be Happy Holidays. I think so, too. I think so, too. Okay. Let's keep it pushing, Norbert. Mm. Um, since you're in the spirit, uh, did you have dinner already? Yeah. Um, no, maybe I kind of just had a uh, pico de gallo. Pico de gallo with what? Chips. That's it. Yeah. Don't tell me if I'm Taco Bell. No, 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 no. Fresh, homemade. I was in the Christmas spirit. You ever see the colors? Yeah, you're wearing them. Yes, pico de gallo. <laughs> Actually, those are Mexican colors too, though. If you hey, think about it, hey, you, you know what I'm saying? That's right. But uh, all right, uh, Norbert. Let me ask you something. Growing up, did you have a family? And when I say growing up, you've been in elementary school. Yeah. Did you have a family that celebrated Christmas and yeah. the, the Christmas tree, the Christmas lights, maybe outside on the tree? Yes. yes. Were, and were you into it? Uh, yeah, for the most part, I was into it because you get a gift out of it. Uh, we did go to a church on, around that time when I was a kid. Uh, we did go into the history of it, the stories, 
with you know Jesus and right. everything that happened. And uh, but for the most part, we did celebrate with the Christmas and the presents and the tamales. Okay, okay. And um, it's tradition pretty much for us. So when I say us, us, uh, you know, us raza. Yes. That um, we eat pozole and tamales. Yes. You know, I wonder why that is. You know what? It's interesting you mentioned that because I, I was talking to somebody and I was, I was contemplating, you know, I see every, almost every single ingredient that is used in Mexico being used around the world, except for tomatillos. Hmm. You ever notice that? Tomatillos are really good. Bro. They use everything. T tomatoes, corn, onion, aguacate. They use everything that comes out of me except for tomatillo. Bro, my homeboy's wife, I need to give her credit. She's the only one that has ever done this, and it was amazing. Tomatillo salad. What? It is incredible. Isn't that strong in the flavor? No, bro. Uh, she added this. I don't know how she made it. I don't know where she got the, the ingredient from. Yeah. Pero lecha aguacate. Yeah. Y también lecha pepino. All right. So she mixes it up, bro. She said it was pretty much like a healthy diet type of yeah. meal. But one day when she brought it, like, it was just freaking amazing. Really? She, yeah. La, la ponían en, en una tostada. Yeah. And then... What? Bro, it's like, it's amazing, bro. I truly do believe but that... She chopped it, it up like ceviche? Yes, exactly. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh. I, I think, if, look, next time I see her, I'm going to ask her, you yeah. know, to make me yeah. one. Yeah, We'll have it. I think if she were to sell this... Yeah. At first, it sounds weird, you know, yeah, tomatillo salad. Yeah. But when you taste it, you're, you'll be like, what the hell? Yeah, because, you know, I can't imagine tomatillo not only being part of salsa. Right. You know? No, this is amazing, bro. So that's wild. Yeah, man. it's really, really good. So now, uh, so now you, you're you're growing up and you're um, celebrating Christmas. Were you a kid that got a lot of gifts? No, no, I wasn't. No, no, not Why? really. Because uh, we we we're like first generation. Well, me and my brothers are first generation, and my parents are from Mexico. So when they came here, you know, they started off with uh, just working, right, paying bills, barely you know, making it, pretty barely much. making it, yeah. So it wasn't like a, a big Christmas. I mean, we would get the toys where that you would find at the toy district. Oh, I don't okay. know if you're familiar with that area yeah. in downtown. And mind you, they're really fun toys. I mean, they 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 don't do all the fancy things you see on those Toys R Us commercials, but they're like very playful and affordable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know if you ever had this one projector-looking thing that had a wheel on it, and you thought you were driving on it. And like a little red oh, car, yes. and you could turn it, and you could change the speed. Yeah. That shit was fun. Okay, now, was there ever anything that you wanted growing up that you never got? You know what? I want to say wrestling action figures. Like who? Like like who? Like who? the Ultimate Warrior, a Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, a whole bunch of guys. Okay. See, for the most part, I have to say this, that I got... The majority of everything that I ever wanted. Really? Yes, bro. Because I come from a big family, so I have a lot of brothers and sisters, including my mother and my father, that bought all of us gifts, even though there was 10 of us. Okay? Yeah. We got good gifts, but un dia, I wanted something so bad, bro. I think I was like in sixth grade. Yeah. And it was called STP Racetrack. All right. So about this big in the box yeah. and it glowed in the dark. Oh, okay. Okay, and it was one of the first uh, ele uh, you put and zzz, zzz, oh, the, the car takes off. Trip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I wanted one of those, and man, and I begged my mother. Yeah, I begged her, and uh, this this is kind of like a heartbreaking story, bro. Really? Yeah. And I thought about sh I thought about should I share it? Should I not? Should I share it, man? So here's what happened. I got a bunch of gifts, bro. Maybe like at least ten gifts. All right. Okay. Uh, I remember getting a Muhammad Ali doll, which I wanted. Nice. A Joe Frazier doll. And yeah. these, you push them in the back and they like do this. Oh, really? Yeah, they were dope. Like good, good yeah, 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 toys. Yeah. And finally, they were the toys were running out. They, they would be like, honestly, like up to 80, 80 of, uh, uh, um, como se llama, regalos yeah, yeah. under the tree, bro, because yeah. we had such a big family. Yeah. So finally, I'm, I'm looking for the box. I'm looking for the box. And then finally, that was all the gifts. Oh, so I started to cry, bro. I started to cry. <laughs> Wait, how old were you at this time? Probably 10 or 11 years old, sixth yeah, yeah. grade. I started to cry, and then my mom at, tells me, like, ¿Qué traes? ¿Qué pasó? 
And I just said, I just told her in Spanish, I, I liked all of these toys, but the one that I wanted, you didn't, you didn't get it for me. Yeah. And I feel so bad, to, bro, when she told me this. She goes, por, Antonio, porque no tenía dinero. Mm. And back then it was $49. So back then that gift was very expensive. Yeah. yeah. And, and I never forgot that when she told me that, bro. Yeah. And I just like, okay. But like, I didn't cry anymore because I believed her. Ah, uh, okay. So I grow up now. I'm 22 yeah. years old. Yeah. Get my record deal. Yeah. When I, when I go cash my, 20, my first $25,000 check. Yeah. Where do you think I went? And, I, and what do you think I bought? A vintage toy store and <laughs> bought the STB. Close. Uh, I went to Toys R Us mm -hmm. and I found a Tyco one. Yeah. Exactly to the STP one that I wanted. Oh. I bought it. I think it was like 109 bucks. Shh. Went home. I was already moved out. Uh, I told her, Mom, mira lo que, lo que compré. Yeah. And she looked at me. She goes, ¿Todavía lo querías? I said, sí. <laughs> So I opened it up. I put it. I put all the glow and the dark stickers. Yeah. I tested it if it worked, and I said, "Come here." And she sat down next to me. She played with me, bro. Ah, oh, that damn. was a memory, bro, for me. Yes, that's crazy. Yeah, bro. I'm serious. I'm that's serious. Crazy. Like, so that was a gift that I never got, but I went out and got it yeah. anyways. You that's know? crazy though, because you know, we we hold, a lot of us hold on to that stuff. I'm pretty sure you're not the only one. There's a, yeah. I, I I think I did that once. I saw this uh, remote control car that I really wanted. And I think I, I got the same excuse, the same reason, you know, because they couldn't afford it. But when as soon as I started working and made my own money, I just went out and bought it too. Yeah, yeah. You know, let me give a shout out to all these people that really, really, with their with pure intentions, yeah, go out for the kids and start toy drives. Yes. That is a beautiful thing. I want to do that next year with our whole rodeo radio team. That would be dope. Okay, that and maybe we can give them away out here at the park or whatever. Yeah. But it's a beautiful thing when you bless a child, man. It, yeah. it truly, truly is because there are people that are less. I call them the less fortunate. You know, the people that yeah. can can no pueden, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They can't buy their kids maybe a certain toy, certain yeah. shoes, certain this. Definitely. So people that are blessed can can give something good yeah. that a, a child or, you know, young boy, young girl yeah. can open up. But to me, it's a beautiful thing when you can bless the next generation. So Definitely. I appreciate all the toy drives this yeah. year. I heard a lot of them oh, were yeah. out there. Yeah, a lot of them were out there. And I mean, the local Hearts Foundation, mm -hmm. the one from the Hood Santa, he uh, he had his, I think uh, a few other guys out there were doing it big. I think I went one to... Uh, in, um, what was it called? Pomona, I think. And I don't know if Pomona. Yeah, Pomona. Toy right there. It was, it's beautiful when you see the community come together, drop out these gifts willingly so, you know, they could give yes. it to the kids. Yes. Bless the children, bro. Let me, let me tell you something. You, you, you want to be blessed? Bless the next generation. Yeah. Believe me, you, you, you will be blessed. Definitely. So, um, now... Growing up, obviously, you watch a lot of cartoons. Yes. Uh, I think it was... Um, the Charlie Browns, the the yeah. uh, Rudolph, the Red Nosed Reindeer, yeah. and then you had that guy with the beard. What was his name? Yukon Cornelius. He was a snowman snowman guy. Yeah. And um, what made it beautiful back then was because um, those shows came on once a year. Yeah, you're right. Now it you did. can get it on demand. Oh yeah. There's no more anticipation. I mean, I, I I like to believe I don't know anybody that watches Christmas movies <laughs> throughout the years. No, I, I did, you're right. I, I, you're I, right. I would like to know who that person. Is. But you know what? I'm glad you you mentioned um, Charlie Brown because that story is going out right now that uh, the artist for that 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 cartoon was a uh, Mexican. Hmm. Not only that, but the, the, the guy who created Snoopy. The, yeah, the voice of Snoopy and the little bird yeah. was from a Mexican guy. Yeah. So we found that Snoopy is, and the little bird are Mexican. Yeah. They're Snoopy. We're always in the mix. Yeah, so Snoop Dogg, that's a Mexican name. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that, where, is that where you got it from? Yeah, Snoopy. Snoop Dogg got it from Snoopy? Yes. There you go. Yes. This is why I tell people, look at the history. Mexicans have consistently been... Messing with this world, changing things. No, nah, I mean, okay. Top five Christmas movies of all time, if you have any. Oh, yeah. I, I, have, <laughs> I have a few, but I'll name the ones that I, I think are my top five. I want to say uh, Die Hard 2. Okay, that's Die a Hard good two. 
Yeah, it's Christmas. Yes, it's Christmas. And they, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the way they strategize that that movie is hilarious. I mean, yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. Uh, let's see. Next one is uh, Trading Places. With, uh, That's another good one. Trading Nick places. Nolte. Eddie no, no, no. Murphy. Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd. No, uh, okay. I'm thinking twenty. Which movie am I thinking about with Nick Nolte? That's, that's twenty four hours. Twenty four yeah. hours. Okay. Yeah. But this one is with uh, Dan Aykroyd, that guy that played in the Ghostbusters, yes. the original one. Yes. And then Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, she, she shows her boobs in that she, movie. Yeah, she was hot in that one. She shows. If her you haven't seen house. that one, it's good. I love it. I love the story. How you know? And here's spoiler warnings. How they twist it with these rich white people. Yes. That you know play with people's lives for a dollar. For a dollar, and then when one of the when one of them turns on them, it gets really interesting. Yeah, it does. It's a good movie. Um, uh, next one would be uh, Friday After Next. I don't like none of those movies. I like Friday After. Next. I like Friday One. I like Friday One too, but that that you know, there's no Christmas theme to that. Okay. This one had the Christmas theme in it. That's where uh, what's his name? Uh, that little guy, uh, Cat Williams is in it. Uh huh. He's that little pimp. Right. I don't care. I thought that was funny. The next one would be uh, Scrooge with uh, that other guy that came out. Bill Murray? Goes, Bill Murray, yes. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a classic. I mean, if you haven't seen it, you definitely should watch that. And it goes, it's just another twist to that old story about Scrooge. Right. Uh, the other, my last one would probably be Daddy's Home 2. I don't know if you're familiar Daddy's with that. Daddy's Home? That one has uh, Will Ferrell and uh, Mark Wahlberg as stepdads. Oh, okay. Uh, the first one is Daddy's Home, but this one had a Christmas theme okay. to it. All right. Mine are movies that don't necessarily have Christmas in it, but I watch them during Christmas. Oh. Okay. One of them is Uncle Buck with John Candy and Macaulay yeah. Culkin. Okay. But it, since it's in the snow, I kind of relate it to Christmas. I can see that. Okay. So Uncle Buck. The next one is, um, uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Coming to America. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good doesn't one. doesn't really have to do with Christmas, but it's in the snow. It's cold. That one track. I watch it, yeah. That one song. Uh, Let Your Soul Glow. Let Your Soul Glow. So Glow. I love that, dude. Ah, oh, man. I love that. Yeah. That's number two. The next one, I have to say, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Oh, wow. That one's based more around Thanksgiving. Yeah. So John Candy and uh, what's the other guy's name? I was going to say Steve Martin. But Steve Martin. Steve Martin. Yeah. Then Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase. That's the National Lapoon. Yes. Yes. Christmas Vacation. Yeah, right. Then my number one all-time Christmas movie, Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Always keep your promises uh, if you want to keep your friends. I thought you were going to say Home Alone for a second right there. No. But Home Alone should have been up there. Hey, but that one does have a Christmas theme. It does. That it one does. does have Christmas. That, that was a good movie. Now, I'll tell you a movie that I'm recommending and is good and wholesome if the family wants to watch it. I just saw it yesterday on Amazon Prime. Okay. I think it was Amazon Prime. Yeah. I'm not sure. Maybe Netflix. I'm not sure. Um, Candy Cane Lane with, with Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Oh, is, is it good? Yeah. I've seen it on there. If you guys are wondering why you guys are seeing black Santa Clauses everywhere, it's because it's after that movie. Santa Claus is black in that movie. Oh. It's actually pretty hilarious. Okay. Yeah. You know what? He, here's one thing that we ought to do next year somehow. I don't know how, but yeah. we're going to do it. We're going to go to the mall. Yeah. We're going to go up to uh, families. Hey, yeah. do you mind your child taking a picture with Santa Claus? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. And then you turn them around, and Santa Claus is sitting there in a chair, and but he's black. Oh, would they accept it or reject it? Wow, that's a real. Uh, what's uh, there's there's a name for that kind of testing. Yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That'd be interesting to watch. It is. Like, yeah, let's do it. Um, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. The, the tamales are on the on the, on the oven on the stove. Yeah, that's why I tell. That's why I tell. Hey, tell your kids. You know, Santa is whatever color you are. The only thing is only a white guy. How, how long has that question been up, Alex? That's it. Damn. Oh, shit. Okay. I All right. That'd be more. Let's keep it going. Um, so now, let me ask you, would you allow your son to take a picture with Black Santa? Yeah, I don't care. I mean... I yeah. was actually looking for one for my grandbaby to take a picture with. I mean, I would have gone... T- actually, no. I was going to say... 
like malls around, you know, the South Central area, the Crenshaw area. Definitely would have one, a Black Santa. Santa. I, w- I would think so, but now that I think about it, they probably would have a White Santa also. You know, like, it's traditional. But I wonder if black people would take a picture with Black Santa. Mm-hmm. That's a good question. That's a good question. All right. Um, I think I've seen some clips out there with a black Santa and, you know, kids who take pictures with them. All right. Hey, favorite, if any, Christmas memory. Do you have one? I got to say, no, they kind of sure lived. You open your presents, you're happy for that moment. and It just goes away. There's another one. For Mexicans, is it, do we open up your gifts on the 24th or the 25th in the morning? There are some people that celebrate it the 24th, y ese día es Navidad. The next day, we just wake up and play with our toys. But some people say, no, that's just Christmas Eve. You open up your gifts in the morning. Were you a night person on the 24th or a morning person on the 25th opening up your gifts? Between. How you can do it in between? Midnight. Well, Yes. Yeah. Then you were a, the 24th guy. You Wait, waited what? up. Oh, is that? that? That's Christmas Eve. So we stay up to midnight para ar- abrir los regalos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was me. That was me too. Oh, so you were in the traditional. No, wake up and, I wake hated up that. Christmas Day morning and no. then open it in the morning? No. I, I met so many people that I mean, we open them in the morning. Why you open up at night? Why not? So yeah, we. That'd be a good poll question right there. Does your family open it at midnight or in the Christmas morning? Yeah. That'd be a good point. Exactly. Because right I know white people usually in the morning. Yeah, because you see it in movies. Right. You see it on shows. Yeah. I don't even know how, uh, you know, Rasa got into the habit of like, let's all stay up till midnight. Like it's New Year's and pop them open. Yeah. Go ahead, Alex. It's probably, um, it's probably um, nine o'clock in uh, Europe or something. I mean, yeah. So. I don't know. Okay, Alex, will you uh, open them up at uh, on Christmas Eve or in the morning? Yeah, we would go to my grandma's house and all my cousins, we would wait up till 12. Yeah, that's the way it is. Why, though? That's weird. Huh? I don't know. I so the parents could part. drink and, the, yeah. you know. Another excuse? Drink that, that day and then drink the next day after also? Everyone goes home. Because the kids it. are happy with gifts? Probably. So. Two-day binger. Okay, what about, are you buñuelo guy? Do you like buñuelos? What a buñuelo, what's a buñuelo? Okay, your parents are from Mexico and you don't know what a buñuelo is. I don't understand the references. Alex, do you know what a bu- buñuelo is? Nope. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, ass Mexicans. <laughs> I think that that might be a generational thing. Isn't that a bandana? <laughs> Pañuelo, not buñuelo. I said buñuelo, not whatever. <laughs> okay, you tell the, the rest of the audience that might not know what it is, what it is. Okay, you know what? I'm going to see on the live chat. If you guys know what a buñuelo is... Go ahead and put a hundred. If you guys know what a buñuelo is, okay? You guys should know this. Go ahead. Vamos. Okay? Now, a buñuelo is pretty much, it looks like a flour tortilla. Mm -hmm. Fried, Mm -hmm. you take it out, Mm -hmm. and then you put the brown sugar on it. Oh! You, you know Taco Bell, yeah, yeah, cinnamon yeah. crispus. Yes, yes, I do. Re- I do recall that. I yes. do recall that. Okay, so you, but you, you drink it with something, right? Sí, lo que quiera, un cafecito. Like most people, una tole, un champurrado, sangria. Probably with a sangria. I never heard that, bro. What part of Mexico are you from? <laughs> no, no, I, I know about that 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 cracker thing, but uh, they're on the mountain somewhere. And I, actually, I've only eaten them in Mexico. I never actually seen yeah, anybody have that here. Yeah, that's tradition to make it. You what about atole? It? Do you like atole? No, I'm not atole guy. What about like champurrado? It's yes, almost the same yes, thing. Yes, champurrado. Is, I'm more but champurrado, champurrado is only one flavor. Atole is at least you have strawberry, vainilla, coco. My favorite hey. is the coco. Yeah, bro. Where, where in Mexico are you from? De allá. Ah. <laughs> ne de aquí, ne de allá. Wey. I only know one. I didn't know they made it in different flavors. Yeah. yeah. Yes, bro, different <laughs> flavors. Bro. Really? Yes. What about rompope? Uh, that's that uh, that bread thing, right? With the it's the eggnog, no? Oh, it's like Mexican style eggnog. Oh, I haven't had it either. You're you're not Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's not even Mexican. 
dude, you're thinking about letting him in? He's not even Mexican, is he? <laughs> like, fuck, dude, like. Okay. Um, I forgot all these. I've never seen things. anyone get faded off of that. Well, you you want to try that out? Rompope. Okay. Try that next time. You see, you got you to gotta be, definitely got to be Mexican to roll those R's. Rompope. 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 No. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You're starting to piss me off, no, bro. We haven't even drank. <laughs> We're a bunch of drunks anyways. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> okay. What's another, what's another tradition? How, how tradition? Uh, now, when you eat your uh, pozole, yeah. do you put repollo in there? That's the reddish, right? What do you mean that's the I, I just cabbage? <laughs> you could put you, you could Wait, put no, I actually thought it was uh chicken chicken. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you on? Repollo. Chicken chicken? Repollo. Re chicken. That's how you say it in English. Re chicken. Hey, re chicken. Hey, Alex, do you eat your, your pozole con repollo? Uh yeah. Okay. Yeah, basically, le pone rabanos, you know, the, the radishes. Yeah. Okay. Nah. You, do you put lemon in it? Yes, yes. I put lemon. I put salt. I salt? Put, see, I, I've never, because I guess the pozole I eat is already good, so I don't have to. I, I just to like it. my food it's very salty. Yeah. Okay. And um, tamales, green or red? What are your favorite? Green. Always green. Always green. Okay. Uh, what else? What else would tradition. Do we have during Christmas as far as you do food? the star on the on the tree? Yeah, yeah, you do the star. I thought that's like a tradition. Wise men follow the star. Oh, okay. Even though we lost today, yeah, I was just gonna say that. Then they lose by two points. But our losses, the loss. There are no oh, moral yeah, victories. No. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now let's go ahead and read that 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 poll. <laughs> My poll. Hey. Um. 97 votes. The question is, which phrase should we, u- should we use? Um, 20, 72% said Merry Christmas and 28% said Happy Holidays. Mm, okay. Mm. Now, here's another one. Um, is Christmas, like, and I'm saying it this way for you, is it the 24th or the 25th? When do you celebrate Christmas? The 24th or the 25th? How does that? Let, let that one be our next one. Now let me ask you, do you put oregano in your? No, that's, that's for menudo. Yeah, I know, but do you put no, it? Not for the pozole. Not for the pozole, no. No. The más repollo, unos rabanos. Now, which one you like, the green one or the red one? The red one. The red one? You prefer the red one? Yes, big time. I like the green one more. I've had the green one, and it's cool. Don't get me wrong. Now, the the, the red one, that one comes with uh, pork or meat for you? Oh, uh, it comes with pork. Are you talking about the red one? Yeah, yeah, the red one. Yeah, pork. Yeah, because most of the time I have the green one, it's chicken always for me. Why? I like chicken. Chicken. Anyways, um, now you know what I don't like? Okay, I like regular menudo. Yeah. But I don't like the white menudo. Have you ever had that one? White menudo? I, I had that in Texas. It looked like water. That sounds like a Texas thing. It, it, seriously, bro. Like, I looked at my bowl, and I could see the bottom of my bowl through my menudo. And I'm like, bro, I, this is see-through. What does that taste like? I had to put a lot of fucking lemon in tapatio. How do you get it white? They made it over there, bro. I don't know. They put milk in it or what? Uh, no say way. Fucking Texas people. You know. Texas people, I don't know what you're doing over Anyways, there. Anyways, um, so now, uh, okay, what other one? What other one? What's another tradition, bro? Um, games. What games do you, do you play games? Loteria. Loteria. Yeah, or Toma Todo. You Toma ever todo? play Toma Todo? That one you fucking spin? Oh, shit. I haven't played that game in a long ass yeah. time. I don't even think there's any stores that actually sell that. Did you ever here. have a pair of matracas? That little thing where with the ball? Traca, 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 that shit. Oh, with two no. balls. I never had that one. Had oh, that one. man. Were you ever good at a yo-yo? I wasn't. I, I, I was able to bring it up and down. Yeah? Yeah. I couldn't do that whole, you just shoot it up and just spins yeah. in the air. I can still do that. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> don't respond. Okay. Ah. Mm. Um, music. Yes. Do you have an all-time favorite holiday song? Yes, it's uh that one that goes Jingle Bell Rocks. Sing it. Uh, what's how to go? Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell Rocks. 
Jingle Bell Square and Jing- ah, that's a Okay, that's all you know? Okay. That's all I know. What about, what about you? I want to miss you a Merry Christmas. Hey, Puma? I want to miss you a Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. You see that one I posted? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite right there, that guy. <laughs> that's El Puma, right? No, that's Jose Feliciano, the real one. Oh, really? Yes. Did, didn't, uh, that's, didn't El Puma redo that one then? I don't know. I don't listen to El Puma. Really? Yes. As you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, he knows who that. Huh? You know who El Puma is? No. No. I, mean, not I know who El Puma is. Live chat. Do you know what I'm talking about when I say El Puma? Do you know Puma? who Iris Chacon is? <laughs> You're supposed to be Mexican. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> did you did you ask, uh, did you ask that question? Okay. All right, Norbert. Let's go ahead and jump right uh, into the news. Anything else you want to touch on about Christmas? Uh, let's see. I was thinking of Christmas tradition. No, I think we covered the games, the music. I mean, traditions. Okay. I but I do want to say this. Uh, I, I do want to mention all the single mothers out there that are with their kids. Yeah. That are possibly cooking up a storm. You know, trying to make things happy for, uh, you know, happen for their kids. You know what? We just want to say we appreciate you guys. Definitely. I always say that nobody hustles more than a single mom. What about a single dad? Okay. I'm going there. I'm going there. <laughs> I mean, all defensive. <laughs> okay. Then I also want to say to all the mothers that cooked up a storm, the majority of the time when they cook, I was just not coming. No, no. No, no. I'm going to stop you right there, Tony. Uh, hold on. I, I'm not done. Oh, sorry. I was, they come in. They'll wait because they'll wait till everybody eats, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I also, now here's where I, where I want to, uh, uh, um, acknowledge the men. Yes. There are some men that are single. Yes. There are some men out there that, are, that have custody of their kids. Yes. And possibly cook up a storm for their kids. If not on the holidays, but you know, on, on a regular basis, Definitely. <clears throat> you know, much love and respect to you guys. Definitely. You know, because you know what, there are certain women and there are certain men. Let's be honest, bro. Que valen verga. Yeah. And the reason why I say that is because I've known women that when they got a separation, they told the husband, "Take the kids." Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They do that. I uh, I don't just tell any woman Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. I just don't tell any man Happy Father's Day. You know, I believe that's something that's got to be earned. Definitely. So. Anyways, go ahead. Uh, when that is, you brought up the, you did bring in the single dad. Like, one single dad I want to point out is uh, Alex Enamorado. Uh, I, I, I know him, and I know that he fought hard to get custody of his son. And unfortunately, this Christmas, he is not with his dad because, as everyone might know, he's in jail for, you know, helping out Raza. So, yeah. big shout out to him and his son. I'm sure. They both would love to have been with each other this year, but because the, his father fights for our people, you know, he's making a huge sacrifice. And I also want to acknowledge uh, uh, Paulie's uh, project. Oh, uh, yes, yes. His father for, you know, just loving his son, bro. Definitely. When he showed me videos of things that he had, he's been through, and he didn't make this public, he just showed it to me. Yeah. Dude, like... I don't, I don't know too many fathers that could be as strong as him, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, so, so much love and respect to Great all you guy. guys out there sipping and tripping right now. That's right. So, no, bro, we're going to go on to maybe about 930. So, I'm probably going to start drinking now. So, about 9 o'clock, 910, we start taking calls. Hey. Okay. That's a tipsy. So, <clears throat> you want to give your first first ghetto news or you want me yeah, to you know kick what? it I'm going to get something that, to get it started. Um mm-hmm. Because we're now at a year. We're at a year now. Alex, put the camera on him. People are getting older. A uh, Beverly Hills plastic surgeon uh, has come out to give some anti-aging advice. Uh, The one advice, well, let me go to the second one. The second advice he gives is um, avoid sugars. If you want to keep yourself from starting to look older, feeling older, what you got to do is avoid the sugars. The sugars are going to be our downfall. They're going to be your downfall. If you don't, if you don't want to keep getting older, avoid sugar and then the follow the next year coming up. Now, his number one advice for anti-aging is sauna. 
His advice is to use the sauna on a daily, about 15 to 20 minutes. That's it. So any more than 20 minutes, you don't need to do that. The reason he says why it's so good for you is because when you go inside a sauna, the, the sauna creates that heat, your pores open, all the toxins that are inside your skin, inside your body, start literally pouring out. Now, you keep doing this on a daily basis, for sure your body will start feeling a lot better. So if you do have a gym membership, make sure to go inside that sauna for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Now, I do want to say something whether people agree with me or not. I'm going to tell you what helps me a lot, bro. Mm -hmm. Why I don't look like an old ass dodo bird. Um, because, number one, you, I drink a lot of water. Yeah. Number two, I hit the gym at least five times a week. Yeah. I, I mean, five, yeah, five times a week. Sometimes, because my, my schedule is hectic, I make it three, and I feel so bad, bro. Yeah. But I at least make it three, but I try to keep it at five. And I hit the sun. I've been hitting the sun for the last three years, bro. Yeah. Oh, and let, and let me tell you something. Hit the sun. I hit it no more. No more. I tried maybe 15 minutes at the most. Uh, average is 10. But when you get out, you literally feel that oil coming out of your damn body. Yeah. There's times that I have to scrub my bathtub at least two times a, a week because the oils fall off. Yeah. And they start making the bottom of your uh, um, bathtub slippery, bro. Oh, shit. Like you can literally feel it. A veces se siente como si estás pisando manteca. You can sell that. Exactly. Yeah, bro. lubricant. Yeah, bro, but uh, I, and I like the steam room too. The steam room helps you uh, uh, release a lot of that water weight yeah. that you may have. Yeah, but anyways, so no, you would, you would agree with that then? Yes, I definitely agree okay. with that. Yeah, I'm definitely agree with that. Uh, one more, just before you go into your story, uh, one thing I did want to put out: um, there have been reports that a lot of uh, hot chocolate uh, powders uh, seem to do have a small trace of lead in it. Uh, I'll give you the list right now. It's going to be Hershey's. Uh, Theo's, Trader Joe's, who and Godiva have dangerous amounts of lead and cat catamim? Catamim. Uh Now, they kind of said you shouldn't have, you don't have to worry too much if you're not like drinking these things every day. But if you do happen to be drinking any of these chocolate, hot chocolate powders from these companies, you might want to cut back because it could become more dangerous the more you drink it. Whatever it is, you heard it from Norby's himself. Hot chocolate. Okay, my first story. Go ahead and put up the Hulk Hogan story. Now, most of you guys know wrestling. You grew up watching wrestling, oh, right? Yeah. Did oh, you yeah. ever have the Hulk Hogan doll? <sighs> no, 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 no. Okay, well, here's the story right now that, and this is kind of trending. Hulk Hogan declares his total surrender and dedication to Jesus. He got baptized recently. There it is there. And he said it was the greatest day of his life. Uh, I heard him speak about it, and when he has speak about it, you know, he's not like these 20-inch pythons. No, he didn't say none of that. Nah. He was really sincere. Really? He was really sincere. He didn't go crazy? No, he didn't. Brother, I got the spirit yeah. of Jesus in me. Exactly, no. <laughs> but you know what? I can appreciate a man that at least, look, if, if he would have come out and say, I'm Muslim, I would have applauded him. And I'm going to tell you why I would applaud him. Yeah. Not because I'm interested in converting to, you know, Islam. Yeah. But my thing is that he was bold enough to stand up for what he believed, yeah. you know, and most people won't. Most yeah. people want to hide it. Most people don't want to be judged. Yeah. Hulk Hogan not, has now put himself in a position where he can be judged. Where if he, if he gets caught slipping, people may say, look at it, fake Christian. He, he fucked his friend's wife. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> so let me read to you what it says here. Hulk Hogan has declared his total dedication to Jesus Christ in a video posted on social media. Hulk Hogan showed himself and family members getting baptized. Total surrender and declaration to Jesus is the greatest day of my life. No worries, no hate, no judgment, only love, he wrote. Hulk Hogan, quoting, whose real name is Terry Eugene Bolea. Bolea. Right, Terry, Eu Lado. Terry Eugene. How do we go from the hoaxer to Terry Eugene? Okay, I anyway. always knew it was to, uh, Tory, but I never knew it was Eugene. Yeah. Okay. Previously, wrote about his faith back in April when he posted a message about accepting Jesus as his Savior at the age of fourteen. Oh wow! So he had already been in it, or at least familiar with it. Yeah. Okay. And it says in twenty twenty one, the wrestler spoke about. His relationship to Jesus in an interview. That was 2021. Once you're a Christian, you've accepted Christ as your Savior. 
you're not going to perish, but you're going to have eternal life. That belief is pretty much the only thing that is real to me, he said. So I applaud, you know what, uh, uh, Hoko. You go to give, give him an applause, mm. okay? He deserves that. Anybody who wants to come out and declare their faith to something, if that's what you believe, cool. I mean, bro, we got people that are proud to be Satanists. We got people that are proud to be, you know, whatever. You know, if that's what you believe and that's what you're going to go for, then do it. Do it at 100%. So, hmm. any any uh, opinions on that? I mean, it's very interesting. I mean, Hulk Hogan has always been known in the wrestling world to be the biggest asshole out there. Nobody liked him. Really? See, yeah, yeah. I didn't follow his career. I'm going to be real with you. Yeah. I like Mexican, Mexican wrestling opposed to these WWE. Yeah, all these guys, they all say he's a, he was a fucking dick. He was just an asshole. Now, now why do you think that was? You think because uh, he was the shit? Well, most people said it, 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 it happened after he came out in the Rocky movie. Oh, Thunder his, Lips. Yeah. 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 Thunder Lips. Yeah, after that, after that happened, you know, the fame hit him, the ego went bigger, and he started, like, bagging every girl in every city. And Can you blame him? Friends. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's hard. Everybody wanted a piece of the hoaxer. Did you want a piece? <laughs> I'm referring to women, troll. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Uh, I mean that, and you know, it comes with the fame, right? I mean, Magic I Johnson. Oh God! I mean, that's another. That's a, that guy was banging left and right, also, right? Yeah, men and women. Okay. <laughs> here, here, let me get a cup, bro. <laughs> oh crap! Let's, let's get this that. party started, that's bro. A real cup, cup. Yeah. So I got you an eight oh five. But you know, it's it's interesting though, because you notice all these oh, all these uh. Celebrities are starting to become Christian. Kat Von D just came out being a Christian also. Kat Von D, prayers wife, and he's still a Satanist. Is he still a Satanist? Yeah, well, he, he is. Are they still married? Yeah, they're still married. Really? That's yeah. interesting. I don't know how that works. I have no idea, bro. And the role playing. I don't know, bro. But me, I wouldn't want to play with that. But I found out, I saw an interview that Kat Von D did. Most people that have dedicated or that gave their lives to God were, were already in the church to begin with. Mm. What happens with is that they strayed. Kat Von D said that her parents were missionaries. So these are people that are called by God to go to a different country to open churches. Yeah. She said her parents were called to go to Mexico. Mm. And that's where she was born. That's how she learned how to speak Spanish. I her mom was Mexican. Her dad was uh, I, like some I, no, German I, guy. No, no. Uh, um, from what I heard, no, they weren't Mexican at all. But she was born in Mexico. And I guess that's what makes her a Mexican uh, oh, citizen. That huh? Oh, is that how I went? Yeah. Oh, okay. But they were missionaries. She, she, she shared her faith as a child. Yeah. And then she said as she got older, she just strayed. She ran away. I mean, that happens. I, you hear that a lot. Yeah. You hear that, that, that whole, you know, that... That uh, cliche Catholic schoolgirl also. Yeah, you know, you know, one thing that this one man told me this, and this man lost his daughter and his son. And when I say lost, like they just went buck wild. He raised them in the church. Yeah. But he told me this. He said, my biggest mistake was that I forced my kids to go every time I went to church. Yeah. He goes, and the majority of the time I was at church was four times out of the week. Damn. And he just said, and I just churched them right out of me, you know? Yeah. That they just got tired of it. They didn't want to, you know, and he goes, and I kept, everything they did wrong, God doesn't like that. That's of the devil. You know, you kind of sound like, after a while, like Bobby Boucher's mom, remember? Yeah. It's of the devil. That's the devil. Yeah, bro. You, what? I'm sorry. To, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. No, but that was pretty much it. He just said that his biggest mistake was I should have just took him to Sunday school, yeah. to church, and that's it. Yeah. He says because I know kids today that that's all the that's the only church they knew. Yeah. And they wanted more. And when he grew up, they went more and got more involved, became youth pastors. Me, I did the opposite. I took them to church, fed them, and then at home they're pretty much at church. God doesn't like that. The devil made you do that. He goes, bro, I, I beat him up with the Bible. Damn. So they didn't grow up, according to him, they didn't grow up loving God. Yeah. They grew up scared of God and pretty much like God was a cop. Every time I, every time I did wrong, he was going to pull me over and give me a ticket. Damn. Let me tell you, Bibles don't leave marks. 
You have to be careful with God and then uh, Santa Claus. Yeah. You know? you got hey. two guys watching you. Yeah. Okay. Just for the record, kids, we already know that Santa Claus has nothing to do with Christmas. Okay. <laughs> nothing. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So all this time you believe Norbert? <laughs> I don't believe in that. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to your story, bro. If you're done with the hoaxer. Are you good with the hoaxer? Uh, yeah, well, you know yeah, what? yeah, yeah, I'm done. Salud. Salud. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. No happy holidays. Hey. That was good. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we talked about this story from, um, from about uh, maybe a few shows back. Uh, it was about a, a lady that got arrested for, you know, you know jerking it in the, in the, in the beach. She was jerking it? Yeah, she was uh, rubbing one out while she was in the water. Oh, uh, flicking the bean. She was flicking the bean. Okay. She was flicking the bean in the bean. She got caught. The cops arrested her. She became a story. So they, so they caught her in the act. They said, put your hands up. And bing, her bean was just bing. staring. <laughs> yeah, you, pretty they, much. They handcuffed and took her they away. They did. They did. Wow. And, and, and you know what? And I think I said, that's kind of fucked up. I, I would probably, you know, kicked her out of the beach. I wouldn't have arrested her, you know, and shamed her. Damn that. well, you would have gotten a piece. <laughs> I'm saying if I was a cop. Come on. You know, I would have been like, yeah, hey, don't do that. Get the fuck out Come of here. There's, there's probably kids around. Now, here's the thing. And I say that because recently it came out that this same lady, unfortunately, deleted herself. Uh-huh. She, uh, when the story broke and it was starting to make a lot of, you know, a lot of headlines. She got distressed, she got depressed, and she unfortunately decided to delete herself. See, that's crazy. Okay, you're over there playing with yourself at the beach. Yeah. Having a grand old time. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and the cops ruin it. You start making headlines, you're trending. Mm. You could do two things. Go hide and delete yourself like the way she did. Yeah. Or, you know what? I'm going to make me a TikTok. It you is know, what it is. It is what it is. You, you know, all publicity is good at publicity. Okay, so here's my thing. Uh, it's the Pee Wee Herman. Yes. Nobody's even talking about his ass anymore, okay? Mm. But rest in peace, because, you know, he did pass away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this guy gets caught at a movie theater. Se la estaba jalando. The Pussycat Theater, right? One of them. Hollywood. You know, he, he, was, he was jerking off. They caught him, they arrested him, and then he hosts the MTV Awards, the next one. Makes sense. He goes out there, ha ha, have you heard any good jokes lately? <laughs> he played on it. That's what you got to do. You know? You know, it's crazy. I saw this video of this one chick. Uh, she was talking about all these uh, YouTubers, these fat, like, like big, heavy girls. Oh, okay. That were like, uh, that were uh, very proud of their weight. Okay. And, uh, you know, trying to tell people that, you know, it's okay to be this big. It's okay to eat the way you eat. Okay. And then she fucking blew my mind because she would show one one person, one heavy girl, and then she would show that they died. Mm. And she said she would show another heavy girl that was also trending. She died also. And then another girl that was heavy said, trending, she died also. Because they were pushing this lifestyle that it's okay to be big and it's okay to eat unhealthy. Wow. And... All of these people, unfortunately, died because of their, you know, obesity. Okay. Like, that's wild. But you're, you're promoting that too, though. How? Taco Bell. No, Tony. Diablo no. sauce. No. No. Diablo sauce. I, I put my foot down on that one, Tony. No. It's the most healthiest fast food around. Challenge me on that. Google it. I'm going to go give me a Nacho Bell Grande after my workout. It's good protein. You got beans. You got uh, cream that has uh, casein protein. You got your, your, your whey protein. You got your casein protein. Callate, whey. <laughs> you got your tomatoes. <laughs> I, I don't know how much of the list you want me to go with, down. With an iced tea. You, you unsweetened iced tea. You're good to go. Healthiest meal out there. It's not bread. All right. Cool. Whatever. Don't, 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 don't avoid the soft shell tacos, though. Don't, don't eat those. Okay. Um. Are you done with your story or you got more? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, well, the whole point is that, you know, you shouldn't do that shit in public like that either. And I mean, mind you, again, this was a female. If it was a guy, he probably, he probably would have been worse. Right. 
Okay. I'm just saying, you know, keep that shit in a home. I gotta assume she had a fucking hotel room. Can't fucking do it in your hotel room. Right, right, right. I mean, well, maybe maybe she was one of those women that like loved to be watched in public. Well, remember for a while, remember years ago in the seventies and eighties, there were flashers. Do we used to walk around butt naked and open themselves yeah, up to a woman? Yeah, that's equivalent today to a dick sending a girl a dick pic. Damn, they're just flashing them. That's why I don't send dick pics. Not anymore. No. Because I deleted all the ones you sent me. I was like, stop doing that. <laughs> That's how rumors get started. Don't you? See? You see? Those guys, you see what they're talking about? They're always drunk. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, now, now, let me ask you this. Growing up in the 90s, were you a fan at all of rock music? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think Aerosmith was one. Uh, Nirvana was one. Uh, Smashing Pumpkins. I mean, okay. I'm so Nirvana. Down. Let's go ahead and bring up the Nirvana, Alex. This is kind of a little short one, but I just thought it was uh, worth bringing up. All right. Because uh, now apparently this guy, um, he's the baby in that picture. Ah, uh, he's finally all grown up. Yeah, Nirvana child porn lawsuit over Nevermind album cover revived. So that album cover is now considered. Child porn. Jeez. Now, my question to you, Norbert, if you have a, an yeah, answer. Yeah. Why is it child porn today, but it wasn't back then? I mean, that's a good question. I think, I don't, I don't think anybody was that sick to consider a baby child porn. I mean, geez, you got to be really fucking twisted in your mind to consider that something that would be appealing in that way. Like, yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's a fucking baby. Yeah. I, I mean, at first, you know, you kind of think about it like, a, like I, I know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I never understood why the baby, but I just figured it's rock. It's different. They're different. It's considered grunge. Yeah. You know, but, well, you but know, I, I didn't consider yeah. it. My whole point, I didn't consider it child porn. No, no, no. Of course not. You know, me, I was a fan. I'm a fan of Nirvana. So for me, their music was always about freedom. I mean, it doesn't get any more freer than when you're when you're just born, right? And you're in the water. I mean, when you're 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 inside your mom, you're in liquid. Yeah, you're yeah. you're you're free from everything. You're you're not consumed by the environment, the world. Right. That's as free as you're gonna get in your life. Yeah. And that's what I thought. That's how I feel. Nirvana represented themselves. I mean, if you listen to all their music, it's always about being free. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like their music, bro. So I think they were different. I, I had the opportunity to talk to Be Real and Send Dog one time. Yeah. And I asked them if they ever met, uh, you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and they said they met Kurt Cobain. Um, and then there was, uh, you know, when Kurt Cobain, uh, you know, deleted himself. Yeah. He was by himself, supposedly put a shotgun to his mouth and blew yeah. it off. Then they were saying it was a conspiracy. They were saying because he could wouldn't have been able to reach the shotgun. Yeah, that doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Unless he put it deep in his mouth. Hey. But he also joined the 27 Club. Like, he was 27 when he died. Yeah. So That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, man, as far as this guy, I mean, it just takes me back to the Neverland Netflix thing. Yeah. Like, these, these grown men come after years, after years and years that now they're, like, older guys now coming out with this documentary. Yeah. I'm like, you guys are shitting on a guy that's already dead, but you're not pointing out about your parents? Yeah. You don't, yeah. you don't say my mom, my dad took me there. It's their fault. Had they not taken me there against my will? Yeah. Well, you have to watch Leaving Neverland to understand because they actually do interview the parents. They actually do interview the parents. Oh, wow. Put it this way. If you're a real, real diehard Michael Jackson fan, do not watch that documentary. Do not watch the documentary because I will tell you this. The proof that those kids had, at least in the documentary, okay? Yeah. Bro, I could have easily said Michael Jackson's fucking guilty, bro. I mean, yeah, because the whole thing is is one sided. I mean, yeah. I, it's hard for me. I gotta get both sides. I gotta get you, both. You're sides. right, but you know what? Here's here's when I get the other side. Is this? Why did you settle every time out of court? Look, what, look what Puffy's trying to do. It's the easiest way, especially if you have the money to shut. Nah, them up. dude, that that shit ain't cool, bro. It's, it's not, but you know, and but then you gotta ask yourself. Why did the parents accept the money? 
if they felt their child was truly violated. I, I, I'll ask you this, Tony. Yeah. Would you have taken the money? Fuck no. Exactly. Would anybody out there would have taken that money? I'm pretty sure 100% of the audience would say, right. fuck no. And here's my thing. And this is just not a, to attack Michael Jackson because he's not here to defend himself. Mm. But my, my thing is this, bro. That reason why I wouldn't have taken the money, number one, because it's never been about, about money. It's exactly. about my, my, my son got violated. Yeah. He needs his peace. Yeah. He needs his justice. Yes. You know, he needs his um sanity, okay? Yeah. My thing is I just want to warn people of this fucking chomo yeah. motherfucker. That too. Yes. That's it. Fuck your money. Yeah. But these parents took it. Yeah, they did. Took it, used it. They didn't leave any for And the, he's all better now. They, they didn't leave any for the kids. Yeah. And now the kids want some more money. Yeah. Oh, well. All right. Go ahead and go to yours. All right. And then, you know, it's in, on, on the topic about chomos. Yeah, take that. Take that down there. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to move into the story of a Glendale swim instructor, sex assault charge dismissed in plea deal. Okay. Dismissed in plea deal. A woman accused of sexually assaulting a four-year-old child while serving as a Glendale swim instructor reached a plea deal with prosecutors Wednesday, December 20th. Wait, wait, so she, she, a woman? A woman accused of sexually assaulting four-year-old, a four-year-old child. Damn. Her name's uh, Brianna Taylor. Uh, apparently, she was the swimming instructor, and uh, one of the one of the little girls did tell the parents that she was touching them inappropriately. And when the cops interviewed the little girl, the little girl pretty much said that she was she tickled her private part under her swimsuit during swim lessons. Yeah. Okay. Alex, before we finish that, Alex, uh, uh, how much time do we have on that poll? Okay, go ahead and read it to me. And then I got, I got another one. Okay, 120 votes. The question is, when do you celebrate Christmas? Uh, 67% said on the 24th, and 33% said on the 25th. Told you. All right. Yes. All right. Okay, so now the question is this. And tell me if it's right, because we're about to ask a question. Should women be referred to as chomos as well? Mm, yes. Yes or no? Yeah. Should yes or no? Should women be referred to as chomos if they uh, 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 um, if sexually assault? Yes. You know, a minor as yes. well, because men, you know, it's sad to say that everybody's a fucking chomo today. You got girls on fucking social media going on, on a guy's pay all you fucking chomo, and you don't even know what the fuck you're even saying yeah. to, to this man. Yeah. Okay, if he is a fucking chomo, okay, cool, but don't just call somebody a fucking chomo because the word is fucking trending. Mm. That's that what part, they're doing. That part right there. It's fucking trending. Yeah. He's a fucking chomo. Shut the fuck up. It, it, it's disgusting, Tony. I, I see a lot of these people fucking saying, you know what? <sighs> they, what they did in their personal life is fucked up, but they're still people. <sighs> the fuck? The Look, fuck? there's a guy that has been wanting to come on here. And, and when I, I booked him. Yeah. But when I found out what he went to jail for, he was, a, he was a chomo, bro. Yeah. I contacted his manager and I said, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. And his manager goes, why, what's wrong? And I said, bro, I heard it. he did 15 years for sleeping with a 16-year-old girl. And this guy's in his 30s. <sighs> Are you going to sit there and tell me that he didn't know? And this is what his manager said. Well, you know, he did the crime. He did the time. You know how girls lie. What the f- <laughs> Now, let me say this. This is not an American Me podcast. But my thing is this, bro, that I have morals and I can't sit across from somebody like that. No, no. Okay. So, you know, you know, it, it's sad that when people want to smut somebody up and they have absolutely no receipts, no proof. No proof. They'll just call him a chomo. Uh, they'll just call him a, he's a rapist. Or they'll say he's a PC. Yeah. You know, I learned all of this stuff when I started podcasting, yeah. bro. Tony, should any be that guy? That guy's a PC. You know what I ask him? Which we should all ask. Mm-hmm. Have you seen the paperwork? Mm-hmm. But no, that's what I heard. Yeah, it's crazy though, because then it, it, you, when you do see the paperwork, you still got dick writers that still say, well, he did the time. Well, have you seen the paperwork? No. What about him? No. What we heard? Mm. Well, fuck what you heard, bro. Yeah. It's got to be in black and white. Yeah, exactly. No, but we, we heard of that fool. You know, he's no good. I'm just not going to take your word for no, it, dude. No, you can't. And we should never you take never. somebody's word for it. You can never. You know, somebody has to show you black and white. Definitely. 
Now, see, but those are the people that scare me are the weak men. And once again, I'm not afraid of strong men. I'm afraid of weak men. Yes. Because you know what they'll say? All they proof they need. Or well, the girl made a video on YouTube. Mm. And that's it. You heard her story. It's, it's so convincing. It's very convincing. He must have did it. To he me, he's guilty. He's a chomo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Norbert. Uh, okay, so apparently she had already had complaints, already police reports of having to do this. So thankfully, uh, like I said, she did make a plea deal. And just like Jackson, that's it. She's, she's still out there. So should women be referred to as chomo? I say yes. Definitely. They you, definitely should. You know, but let me say something about men, okay? Because I know, I know girls that were in their 20s yes. that were fucking 16-year-old boys. That's a chomo. That's a chomo. But here's the crazy part. The 16-year-old guy that I knew that was fucking a girl that was 28, hell yeah, I got me some 28-year-old pussy. And all the kids are like, hell yeah, yeah, he smashed. He smashed. He smashed your own girl's mom and he smashed this. Damn. But it's almost like we saw it like like conquering something. Yeah, because I mean that that's a teenage boy ego. It is, bro. Right there. It is. You know, it being is. able to say that you, you you tapped it, that you you did it. And uh you no, know, I g I don't know. I gotta you know what? I think girls were just as bad as boys. No, they I, just I, you just don't hear about it because they don't talk about yeah. it like boys do. Yeah, okay, I'll tell you, this is bad too. Even though at the time he was 18, mm -hmm. he had just turned 18, mm -hmm. my, my homie was dating this one girl. He got drunk, went to his girlfriend's house. Mm -hmm. She wasn't there, but the mom was there. The mom was in her late 30s. Damn. Oh, so-and-so's not here. You want to come in? Yeah. Started drinking with the mom. He ended up fucking the mom. Jesus. <laughs> and he bragged about it. And we were like, no shit? And he was like, yeah. I still think, even though because he was 18, even though he was legal, yeah. her in her late 30s, she knew what the fuck she was she doing. Knew she, was doing. she knew. Young, dumb, and full of? Yeah. Rum. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told you, man. I, guy, guys are just too egotistical. We will say it out loud and proud. Yes. Girls, yes. they will keep that to themselves to or themselves, just say bro. to a friend or two. I, I, women have told me women are worse when it comes to, you know, Women are just worse. And I'm like, you mean like hornier? Worse. And I'm like, Shit. fuck, all right. That shit must really growl then. You know? But, oh, well. Okay. <laughs> Anything you want to add to that before I go to my story? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, no. Alex, bring up the Vin Diesel. Chop, chop. Okay. So, Vin Diesel now. Oh, good old Vin. Vin Diesel sued for sexual assault by former assistant. Jeez. Okay. Now, let me read this to you guys. According to TMZ, yeah. Vin Diesel is facing a lawsuit for allegedly forcing himself on an assistant working with him during production of Fast and the Furious. Mm. Her name is Asta, A-S-T-A. -A. Asta? Yeah. Asta, you know, says she was hired by... One race film, a production company to uh, Vin's assistant while he filmed Fast Five in Georgia back in 2010. According to the, according to the, the docs obtained uh, by TMZ, Asta says she was at Vin Diesel Suite at the St. Regions in Atlanta while he was entertaining multiple women. She claims when the last woman left, Asta was tasked with ushering Vin out of the hotel to avoid photographers. But instead, she says, uh, Diesel forcefully grabbed her, groped her breast, and kissed her, all while still in the suite. And although she struggled to break free, he allegedly continued forcing himself on her. Okay. And then uh, it says, according to the, according to the suit, um, Asta says she remained silent, for so long out of her fear for Diesel's power in Hollywood. And Diesel, and became because of her immigration status as a green card holder, but, ha, but says she feels empowered by the Me Too movement, she also cites California Speak Out Act, which allows victims to file sexual um, assault claims for allegedly incidents dating back to 2009. Jeez. So... Real victims. Yeah, real <laughs> victims. But, you know, here's my thing, bro. I know for, for women 
that have been truly sexually assaulted, yeah, it takes some years, bro. Yeah. It takes some years to open up and come out. So I, I kind of understand this, yeah. okay? But, and I'm not trying to take nothing away from this woman. Yeah. But my thing is, like, he, he groped you, uh, he, you know, he grabbed your breast and he kissed you and he forced himself on you. There was obviously no sex, but it was just like, you know, yeah. okay. But for, for real women that have been sexually assaulted, it takes some years to come out. When they finally do come out, it's hard for them to speak about. Yeah. You know, I just trip out on some of the girls that can easily talk about it and go on a whole rape tour. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was sexually assaulted. Yeah. Oh, I was this. I was, I was gang banged. I was, and like, how do you talk about it that openly? Yeah. You know, I, I don't get it, bro. And, and that's almost like it was a trophy. You know, I do want to say something. I had contacted um, somebody from the Me Too movement. Yes. Okay, because I wanted to bring somebody on. Yeah. Uh, because I wanted to expose this female that goes around accusing people of yeah. sexual assault, okay, and then plays the victim. Mm -hmm. So now she has to live the whole lie out for the rest of her life. Yeah. But when I spoke to them and I said, you know, I do want to ask you and I do support your movement, but my thing is this. What do you do when you find out that some of these women are found guilty? Yeah. Like they're caught lying. Yeah. Is, is there, do you guys expose these people? Yeah. And um, they just said no. no of course not. They just say no, oh, you know, and I think to myself, wow, there should be a movement that should expose these frauds because they're not really believing the real women that are sexually assaulted. Because let's be honest, bro. It seems like today, everybody, it, it's a trend to be sexually assaulted. Should be not really me movement. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's a trend, you know, he, here's how bad it is. And I think we talked about it last time that a guy can go out with a girl, put his arm around his waist and kiss her. And let's just say she regrets it. A month later, yeah. I regret it. I was sexually assaulted by Joe Blow. <sighs> and, and this was 13 years ago, bro. And, that, and, that, and that, that's tough for, like, single guys that, uh, you know, want to flirt with a girl, want to hit on them. It, it's scary. It is scary, bro. You just don't know. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, you could be making out with a girl and having fun, you know, whatever. Could be no sex involved. Yeah. A month later, you get hit with, hey, you know what? He tried to rape me. Yeah. And it sucks, bro, that this is trending. Is you know, what I'm saying. That, that reminds me of this story of, uh, that's been happening recently, uh, Takashi69. Uh -huh. His chick was, I think, earlier accusing him of domestic violence. Yeah. But he decided to fight back, not literally fight back, but he decided to actually, you know, capture her. Yeah, F filmed her. Filmed her. That bitch was cuckoo, bro. Yeah, beating on him. Yeah. So he could tell people, I'm not beating on this chick. This chick is beating yeah. on me. Yeah. And she's the one that got arrested. Well, bro, bro, first of all, we know Takashi 6 is a fucking idiot anyways. Hmm. But, but look what he attracted. Yeah. Look what he attracted, you know? So. She loves me. <laughs> There's a lot of you guys out there that are, that are, are in love with toxic women, bro. Like, in love, I don't fucking get it, bro. The sex is good, Tony. It ain't that fucking good. Fuck all that. It obviously is. <laughs> That's toxic in that. You see? These guys. These guys right here. Toxic. So. Anyways, go, go ahead. Hit us, hit us on. So, anyway, Vin Diesel, you know what? If you're innocent, I got you. Uh, if you're guilty, I don't got you. Well, it's crazy, but, but like, let me add that to add to that is because uh, you know what happened with Bill, Bill Cosby. The thing yeah. she mentioned is the things that happened because of Bill Cosby, where women were able to like open up cases now that were like 20 years ago, past the limits of the statutes of limitation. No, but, but I'm sorry to cut you off. Go, go ahead and finish, and I just want to do one more thing. Well, I was gonna say because. You know, women are doing that, and I just wanted to say, men, men, if you, if this has happened to you, you were, you know, sexually assaulted, molested, you too can start suing people that they really did do shit to you. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, here's my thing. Say Norbert or Alex, hypothetical scenario, you were making out with this one girl, you, you guys decided to take mushrooms, you guys wanted to trip, you hey. guys start smoking weed, mm. start taking shots. Sounds like a good day. Okay? Yeah, sounds like a good date. Good, and good then, first date. Yeah, and then you end up having sex. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Six months later, uh, they come to your house and arrest you because she's saying that she doesn't remember you, you raped her. Oh, shit. If it's consensual, 
And it's only you two guys here. How yeah. do you defend that, bro? Uh, I mean, at that point, is her word against mine, right? But, uh, at but, that but point, it, the whole background check comes to mind. But this whole thing is, today is like trending. I think recently, Cuban Gooding Jr. was uh, being sued for that, too. Yeah. Today, Puffy is being sued. Yeah. I forgot who else. Some, oh, Puffy hey, did but, that but shit. But it's funny how it happens when you cut somebody off. It's, it's true. It happens when you cut somebody off. Mm. Yeah, I want you guys to think about that. When that shit does happen, though, yeah. you cut somebody off and like fuck it. Yeah. Anyways, go ahead, Norbies. All right, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, WalMarts and their problems with uh, these self checkouts. Uh-huh. People tend to like uh, fucking uh, scan a fucking Snicker bars and come out with a fucking TV. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, you ever heard about Take that? Take off in diesel, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> no, I never. I didn't know that. Sexy. <laughs> Dude, uh, yeah, so people do do that. Well, apparently this one chick, you know, she didn't do the same thing, but instead she went with at it in a different way. You know, she bought. She had about two hundred and fifty dollars worth of stuff, and mind you, she was trying to pay for it. She yeah. was trying to pay for it, but. Her shit kept getting declined. Wonder why. Wonder why. Anyways, at that point, she, uh, after like a, quite a few times that she had been trying to pass her card, she said, hey, I tried. Can you guess what she tried to she did after? What's that? <laughs> she walked out. <laughs> Your excuse was to the cops. I tried to pay. <laughs> he didn't take my payment. I tried to pay. And God. she walked out with her that shit. I mean, they caught her. Right. But that was her thing. She complained that it is not my fault that it didn't take my payment. My car kept getting declined. I tried to pay. Wow. <laughs> Bro, you, 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 you know what's been out of hand? Not getting, but been out of hand, especially right now during the season. Yeah. Um, I went to a Bev Mall. You, are you familiar with a Bev Mall? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's where they sell liquor. Yeah, beers, Bev yeah. Mall, if you guys don't know, is where they pretty much all they do is just sell liquor. Okay. Went to a Bev Mall recently. And two, uh, you, you know, like, they're like showcases or like a vitrina, you open up to get the expensive bottles out. Yeah, yeah, top shelf stuff. Yeah, I went in there and fucking two of them were fucking broken. Come to find out, people went in there and stole bottles. Uh, fucking have, and just started grabbing bottles of a patron, of, uh, you know, whatever. Good stuff. And just walked out and didn't stop them. I'm like, bro, I, this is just out of hand, bro. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, because they figured out the system. They know these corporations, they, they got the insurance, they tell their workers, don't follow them. But as a man, as a man, bro, I couldn't do that shit, bro. Oh, of course not. No, no. But, uh, but that's the thing. I mean, that's some that, they, might, they, out there, they have some, they grow up with uh, people that, you know, don't teach them morals. But one good news about this, this kind of stuff, though, is that recently uh, the LAPD did create a division to you know, handle this this kind of situation. And then recently, I have been seeing reports that they have been catching a lot of these store owners that have been buying the merchandise from these people. So now they're arresting the people that are buying the stuff from them. Also, oh, it could be like an inside job. Uh what do you mean? Well, you're saying buying the stuff. So- yeah, like a mom and pop shop. They 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 they're buying the stolen goods and selling it in their store. Oh wow! So the so the cops are now arresting these people. It's like saying, go give me the PlayStation. Yeah. And walk right out. You know, bring it and to me. And then bring it to me and then they'll sell it. Damn. All right. So quite a few uh, store f- stores have already been uh, shut down. And the owners arrested for having like almost a million dollars worth of stolen merchandise. Wow. That they're, you know, reselling. Okay. I mean, I wish I would have known. Yeah. That would have been the plug. Yeah. You're getting a PS5 for like $250. Okay. Are you done with that one? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alex, do me a favor. Bring up that Cameron Diaz. Bring up the, the fucking harbor area fucking. Yeah, the last one. The harbor area weenie. Okay. Cameron Diaz says that we should normalize separate bedrooms for married couples. Okay, first of all, Cameron Diaz, I don't know who in the fuck you're shacking up with. But my thing is this. Like, why would you want to normalize separate bedrooms? For married couples. Who in the fuck made you a spokesman for married couples? Well, that's just my opinion, Tony. And this is freedom of speech. Now we can use freedom of speech? 
<laughs> now we can voice our opinion because these people are rich. These people have a little bit of power. Yeah. Well, they have a lot of power. Yeah. A lot of influence. Yeah. And this could open up a door to break and separate and destroy yeah. what we know as marriage, bro. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's odd. I mean, it takes me back to I Love Lucy. Do you, do you get that reference? Do you, do you recall on the show that they slept on separate beds? Yes, yes. It, but let me tell you what I think. And this yeah. was told to me by my uncle who used to work for Universal. Yeah. And he told me the reason why is because sleeping on one bed back then, it, it looked sexual. So they try to keep it clean for TV. Ah, uh, but then that's the power of TV, though. You're right. You're right. I mean, let's be honest. We all looked at Brady Bunch and we all thought all white people were happy. So... But you find out that one of the sons is was sleeping with the mom. Yeah, Greg Brady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout yeah. out Greg Brady. And he also boinged uh, Marsha. Hey. So anyways, but um, but yeah, she's saying we should normalize separate beds. That Bullshit, like, bro. That sounds like a cuck situation to me. It, Tony, it's true. If it's I true. Ever heard one. It's true. It's a cuck situation because she's gonna she's gonna tell that guy. You know, why isn't her husband or her man saying that? Yeah. It's her saying it's that. It's her saying that. Sleep over there. And then when he's fucking knocked out, <clears throat> he fucking sneaks in fucking, you know, uh, Jamal. <laughs> okay. So, so that's my thing. Like, <laughs> that's why she wants separate bedrooms. <laughs> so, so Jamal, Jerome, and Tyrone can come in. So, so the husband won't hear the. Yeah. That, huh, yeah. The, huh, the mashed potatoes huh, and the huh, macaroni. Huh. <laughs> stirring macaroni. <laughs> Exactly. The, the turkey slapping around. Exactly, bro. <laughs> but, like, what gives her the right to say that, bro? And, like, let me ask you, would you want to get married and have separate bedrooms? Oh, that's weird. It's fucking weird. I, 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 I would want to have my girl in the same bed as I, you know, grab onto her breast while I'm sleeping. Or she can grab onto yours. I jump? <laughs> sure. No, no, no. You know that. God, my throat. But that, that's my thing. Like, if you're going to get married, you better be sleeping with your wife, bro. Yeah. I mean, you spooning, would, her spooning, you, whatever. You would but talking so. about separate bedrooms? So, so that means you're entering into a partnership more than a marriage then. It's kind of like a friends with benefits kind of thing also. Yeah, I mean, could you imagine if you proposed to a girl, she said, yeah, let's yeah. do it. And she goes, but I want separate bedrooms. Yeah. Permanent friends with benefits? Permanent friends no, with benefits. No, no, but she said, yeah. no, like, so when are you guys going to have sex? I that yeah right. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe it's a role playing kind of thing. Maybe they 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 sleep in different rooms, make it seem like they're always in a different place. But now we're talking about maybe. It's like married couples when they 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 instead of having sex in their home, they go to a hotel and they start having sex there instead. Yeah, yeah. You know, just to spice things up. It could be a spice. I mean, I would like to read the rest of the article if she mentions that at the end. It's not it's spicing spice, things it spices up. Spices it up. Okay, according to USA Today. In a Tuesday podcast episode, Cameron Diaz got real about an issue many couples deal with, but rarely talk about sleep divorce. Sleep divorce. Sleep divorce. That's what she said. And, and we're quoting her. We should normalize separate bedrooms, Diaz said, while talking with Molly Sims and friend Esme Gromley. To me, I would literally, I would literally have my house. You have yours. Okay, that's weird. We have the family house in the middle. I go to sleep in my room. You go to sleep in your room. I'm fine, says Diaz, who is married to Benji Madden of Good Charlotte. Okay. And, oh. and we have the bedroom in the middle that we can convert in for our relationship. Thoughts. Shut the fuck up. I don't oh. know. That, that, that's all weird right so there. So do you have a bedroom where you guys can fuck and then... When we're done, go to your room. I'll go to my room. Maybe the dude that gets laid out. Do you agree with this shit? No, I definitely don't agree with that. It's weird. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. I like. Why do you even get married? Do, do we give Cameron Diaz the 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 thumb or the finger? I'll go with the finger on that one. Finger. Okay, Alex. Um, how long have we been um on that cap on that that question? Okay, go ahead and read it. Okay, uh, the question, 93 votes, should women be called chomos also if they are guilty? 86% said yes, 14% yes. said no. Damn. What, what, why, do, why do those 14% people give those women a pass? They're cucks. 
Grumbling. Okay. Go ahead, Norbert. Um, let's do one more. And oh, then, one more? Oh. yeah, one more of yours, and then we'll take calls. All right. Uh, now I got to choose which one. I got so many good ones. Okay. Um, I guess we're talking about marriage. We're talking about marriage, all right? Take off Cameron Diaz, bro. Yeah. All right. So apparently there's a new phrase for TikTok that's trending. It's a new, it's a word called trad wife. T-R-A-D-W-I-F-E. Trad wife? Trad wife. Wow. Apparently it's trending like by the millions. And pretty much what, what this word means, it, it's pretty much short for traditional wife. Refers to a woman who has proudly skewed a career in favor of domestic duties, such as cooking, cleaning, child and rearing. Child rearing. A trad wife typically believes working women hurts the nuclear family and aims to cater to her husband's every whim. So the story, uh, this story uh, started making uh, news because apparently uh, this 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 wife found out that her husband was following this trend was uh, starting to really just keep following this trend where women would use that word to well, refer to themselves. Oh, okay. They refer to themselves as tra trad wives. So traditional women. Traditional wives. Is that a bad thing? Now, for this wife, it was a bad thing because she, she was a working wife. She worked. She worked just as much as the husband. Okay. And she still did her thing as what, a, what she would consider what a wife would do. Except the difference here is that Trad wives don't work, and they wear dresses every day. They cook and clean and probably blow their husband with a dress every single day. Okay, I'm going to say something, okay? And I want to say this respectfully because of my family, okay? I'm not going to refer to my mother as one of those, mm -hmm. but my mother was, to me, superwoman, Yeah. okay? And you know what? And men, I want to say this, that if you have a mother that is really, really worth bragging about, yeah. really worth where you can honor her and brag about her, please do that, even if they're no longer here. Yeah. My mother was one of those. Yeah. My oldest brother, who's in his late 60s, he, he always refers to my mother, superwoman, wonder woman. You know, you, you, he tells me things about her, obviously, because he's older, that I didn't know. Yeah. Okay. My mother did all of that. Yeah. And there were certain things that my dad didn't allow her to do, yeah. and which I didn't know until I got older. Yeah. He didn't want her to wear makeup, so she never wore makeup. Yeah. He didn't want her to get her nails done, so she never got her nails done. Yeah. He didn't want her to wear pants, so she wore dresses every day. Yeah. You're going to cook what I tell you to cook. And she still worked selling at the swamp meat, and he would get mad because she made more money in two days than he did in a whole week. That is a superwoman. Yeah, bro. My mom, bro, and she was an amazing, amazing cook. You know... Women like that don't have recipes. The most I got un puño de aquí, un puño de acá. They, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's her, bro. They go with feeling. Yes, bro. She'll put clothes in the dryer and in the washer and then start cooking, have stuff on the stove, go to the restroom, do what you got to do, wash up, change, come back, start cutting and sewing, making phone calls, turning over, you know, whatever she's cooking, taking out the... That was her, bro. That's definitely not the traditional wife. I exactly, bro. So definitely. that's why, believe it or not, now knowing... What kind of mother I've had, especially yeah. with my older brother, yeah. always schooling me more on her, bro. Yeah. It, 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 it just breaks my heart because I almost feel that I didn't appreciate my mother while she was here. I mean, you really can't blame yourself, Tony. It's hard to like really look back and see the situation for what it really is. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The, you, you, the lack of experience, the lack of life experience, yeah. you know, you don't get to really see like, wow. That's a lot of shit a she lot, does. A lot, yeah. Like, I can't even do one-third of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're right, you're and, right. And, but, and, but that's the thing, too, because I got to assume for our culture, we've always had two working parents. Yes. We've always had two working. For, so for us, it's, it's normal. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think I've ever met a woman or a man that grew up in L.A. that didn't have two parents working, you know? I mean, unless you were like super well off, I guess. Right, right. And you and the the or the husband did well enough, and you could afford that. Right, right. But as far as I know, my friends, my family members, everybody worked. You, you know what? And I I want to say something, Norbert, and and I thank fathers that stuck around and they didn't leave. Mm. 
and uh, um, you know, continue to love their wife and their kids and raise them and fed them or whatever. We all know that sometimes marriage is can be rocky. Yes. Okay. But I do want to say this to a lot of my black friends. Yes. A lot of my black friends never had a dad. All of them have said, I don't know the motherfucker. And, and, and I keep in mind, coming from a Mexican family, I've always yeah. said, what do you mean? Like, my dad goes to work. He, he's in the room, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, and then many of them, I come to find out, weren't even raised by their mom. They were raised by their grandma. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. A lot of my, my black friends have told me, my grandma raised me. My grandma's everything. My grandma this, my grandma that. So, I just think having a, a mother and a father, bro, is a tremendous blessing. Like, those are things that we must never overlook. Yeah. You know, it, whether they get in the long or not, sabes que, ahí está mi, ma, mi mamá, ahí está yeah. mi papá. Yeah, man. And, you know, and, but this is why I tell, you know, guys that are uncles, you know, step up for your nephew, for your niece, and be that be that father yeah. figure. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. take a little bit of your time, but they need you. Yeah. They really, really need you. And, and you know, number, and sometimes, you know, things don't work out with, with certain parents, especially with this, this generation, you know. Yeah. It's like, maybe I just, we, me and my girl can't get along. Yeah. And I get it. But you know what? You're still a man. You're still taking care of your kid. Yeah. She's still a woman. She's still attending to her child. So much love and respect to those parents. Definitely. Bro. Definitely. You know? Cheers so, to them. Yeah, cheers to them. So let's take a little sip. So I hope you guys are enjoying this because I sure am. Because I'm about to go get some more tamales and pozole in my, in my belly. Hell yeah. Yeah, mm. man. So, so the story, unfortunately, at the end of this story, you know, the wife finds out that this dude, his hus- her husband, is actually tying to some other chick that is more like a tra- what would you re- would consider wanting to be a traditional wife. Right. So he got so hooked on this whole, you know, what's it called trend? Right. That he 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 didn't want to be with his wife anymore. That worked. It still did housework that way a wife would. Right. Right. But right. what he didn't like was that she would dress. Like very uh, Provocative? comfortable, okay. Very Sweatpants, hoodies. He didn't like that anymore. He wanted her to start wearing the makeup, doing the hair, wearing the dress. Right. Well, you know, sometimes you do gotta spice it up, man. Oh, I, you know, you know, remix. I definitely it. agree. Look, if you're a woman and you're watching this, let me tell you something. If you get into an argument with your husband, go take a shower, throw on a g-string. <laughs> booty shorts mm. or a thong and walk around the house and I guarantee you he will apologize. We're very easy like that. He will up he will tell you I'm sorry I didn't do shit even though it was your fault, but I'm sorry. But I want to put a baby in you. Because he would look at the goodies. Okay, so this that's my thing like that's how you make a man happy. Go yeah. throw on that thong. It's all good. We're very simple. Yeah. We're very simple creatures. <laughs> the the thing is just please try to understand your man. And men, please try to understand your girl. Please Definitely. try to understand your wife. Because, look, let me tell you something, bro. Women are wired differently. Men are wired yeah. differently. And you spend a lifetime trying to understand and get to know a person. Yeah. Look, one of the worst things you can ever tell a man, and men, I'm going to speak to you guys, okay? You could be laying in bed with your girlfriend mm. or your wife, mm. okay? Had amazing sex. Yes. You guys are kissing, lovey-dovey, you know? You guys are good. Fluids everywhere. Yeah. Looking at the sun coming up. Mm. And here's how a woman can ruin it. I'm going to give it to you right here. Babe, can I ask you something? Jeez. On cue. <laughs> On cue. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> That's when you, you you know what I'm saying? It's that's like a, that's a rap right there. It's a rap. Women understand that. Please. Mm. We know you're wired that way, but fuck. Not the time. It's not the time. Not the time. So go ahead, Alex. No, I just got one more story about the dogs. Oh, okay. go over it. Go over it. Well, Alex, have, Alex got a dog uh, uh Christmas story. Yeah, you gotta put it on the headphones though. Okay, go ahead. 
This okay. is the world's first driving dog and he learned in 47 days. There's a whole place in New Zealand that's training dogs to get behind the wheel. It's a full on driving school for dogs and the reason why is heartwarming. Monty was the first one to learn but there have been multiple dogs trained to drive since him. It's not like some of the other videos you might have seen of a dog appearing to drive, these dogs are actually doing it. The car is modified to be dog friendly but the dogs do everything from turning the car on, shifting it into gear and actually using the gas pedal. The gas and Brake pedals have been redesigned to be higher up and within paws reach. They start the training in a makeshift car so they get used to sitting, turning, moving, and all the basics. Then it's on to the racetrack where they not only drive straight, but can actually make turns. Some of the dogs are better at that than others. All the dogs trained to drive are abandoned stray dogs. The goal is to prove that dogs put up for adoption are smart and deserve a good home. It's an initiative done by the SPCA to increase adoption rates and all the dogs that have been trained to drive are adoptable as well. There you that's go. It? That's it. Okay, I want to say something. Go for it. Who in the fuck came up with this idea? Where did they get the budget from? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Tony. But I'll tell you this one thing: all those dogs need to be deleted immediately. <laughs> immediately. Everybody out here is scared of AI. This is some plan of the ape shit. <laughs> First they start driving cars. <laughs> the next what? They're gonna start working at McDonald's. They're gonna start working in restaurants, Fuck. hotels. Hey, but gonna, can, gonna be planning after dogs. Can you imagine your dog picking you up after the bar? Fuck. No, can, no. Can you imagine your girl telling you, I, "I met somebody," and then the fucking dog pulls up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like he's good at doggy style. Hey. <laughs> Alex, what made you? I never even had a dog. Hmm? You should, Tony. I think you. I. I think it would change your life. I think it's something you would like to watch. Fuck. Wait, what? what? <laughs> Anyways. Anyway, that's just my opinion. I mean, it's dangerous. You teach him how to drive. What's next? Alex, go ahead and put up the number. Let's go. Let's go. Go ahead and put up the number. Let's let's take these calls, guys. Okay, the roadcaster. Okay, let's see. Who's going to be our fucking first caller? Hey. Caller, let's go. Let's see who you are. I don't care. Let's see who's got let's the see. balls to make the calls. Hey. Okay. Now we're live. Now you can call. Don't call me when I'm not live. Okay. So, you hear that over? Oh, yeah. You know they're not, Tony. You know all these. Because we're always drunk. Because we're always drunk. And uh, they, don't, they, don't, they, don't, they, they wouldn't know how to talk to a drunk person. Mm-hmm. So, because they classy. Okay, let's see. They're respectable men. Nah, I mean, <laughs> okay, let's go, everybody. If not, we're just we're just gonna fucking exit and go with some pozole and tamales. Hey. So, that's what. That. You know, lately our calls have been fucking lagging. You know why? Why? Because not enough people have the balls to make the calls. I mean, that's what I'm assuming. You know, today would be a good day to be calling. Especially people yeah. that say, I'm going to call. I'm going to call and talk to them. Yeah, I'm going to call and talk to them. That nothing. Okay, call her with the 602 number. Call back. Have your TVs turned down when you ask your question. Okay? Yep. Here we go. Here we go, Alex. Uh, call her your name and where are you calling from? Call her. Hello. Kala. Call her. Okay. Oh, uh, I don't know. They got it. They got it. Here we go. Right, hold on right here. Call her your name and where are you calling from? Yeah. Okay. This is a, a Pucci. Pucci from uh, Washington High in Nueva York. All right. Pucci. I can hear the accent. What's up? Ah, papi. Que lo que? Que lo que? That's what's up. Uh, no, Betito. Si, mande. Yo tengo un pregunta. Bueno. Tú tienes OnlyFans? Dímelo. Verdad, ¿De verdad? No, 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 no tengo que, no creo que nadie me va a querer pagar para eso. Pero, sí. ¿Pero por qué? Porque sí. la tiene chiquita. <laughs> That's how rumors get started, Tony. Sorry. No, y, y si tenía uno, ¿qué es lo que quería ver? Mm. Oh, ¿Qué es que le gustaría so you have, ver? You haven't, you haven't to create one, papi. ¿Qué? Okay. I think it's a good idea. 
Okay. Because well. you know me, I I asking for for my friend. Okay, pues I would. That sounds like Shazzy. I would, shazzy I so would much. definitely consider it. This kind of sounds it's like Shazzy, but shout out to Shazzy. Okay, pues lo voy a considerar. Ay, Tony A. Tony A. <laughs> ah. I gave you up, Señor Antonio. <laughs> Que una rata. Hey. Tranquila. Hey. All good. All right, fine. You got me. It's sad. Yeah, it's <laughs> I knew she was. I knew it. <laughs> She's good. She was that. She had yeah. that accent. You she had that accent. That, that New Yorkish accent. Yes. Yes. You had a good accent. Thank you, Shazzy. Appreciate that call. I'm glad you called the model that only fans. And, and I'm glad I told the truth about him. <laughs> Porque la tiene chiquita. Hey. Anyways, okay, so I I do have um kind of a more serious question though. So okay. with a lot of these dudes finding themselves in this situation with you know sexual assaults and whatnot, mm. do y'all think it's safe for men to still take women home that they meet, or is that something that no man should be doing anymore? Because I mean, you can get some female who's bitter, who's upset, maybe you know your stroke game was weak and then she accuses you of some crazy shit. Yeah. Scary times. It, it, it's scary. Times. It, it, it should make today the way it's trending. It should make every man, uh, think twice, honestly, because you don't know who you're bringing home. You really don't. Uh, I think today you should get to know the woman first or at least a couple of months. I'll be honest with you. Look for those red flags and women. Same, same thing with men. Yeah. Same thing, you know. Well, would you say a traditional woman chooses the man or the man chooses the woman? I think the woman chooses the man, bro. I, I believe so also. Well, Shazzy, what do you what do you think? Mm, I think the woman women probably have a, a lot more power than they, they think they do. I've I've seen dudes who were not shit. They, you know, I mean, como, 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 como que un niño, you know, for the mm. rest of his life, he's a little boy, but that one woman will get him to straighten up. Mm. So yeah, w women actually do call a lot of shots. Yeah. No, I do believe but They that. just have to learn how to, you know, manage their, uh, <clears throat> I don't want to get you demonetized, so I'll just say it in Spanish. Women have to learn how to manage their coño. Hey, that's right. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I want to protect your channel. <laughs> and I'm sure YouTube can't understand Spanish, or can they? I don't know. Nah, I don't Maybe not. I don't know. All right, Shazzy. Appreciate you. Definitely, Shazzy. Definitely have a blessed and Merry Christmas. Definitely. Feliz Navidad. Sí. Feliz Navidad. Gracias. 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 Okay, let's go. Let's keep these phone lines going. Uh, once again, if you got the balls, make the calls. She can call from Texas, but you guys can't call from LA. That's the crazy part. And these are tough guys out here. Real tough, bro. Real tough like guys. shit. I, I I had to go buy some boots just so I can shake in them. <laughs> oh. All, right. Okay. All right, guys. This is the time. Here, here we go, right? Here. All right. Call her your name, and where are you calling from? Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, Tony and Dorothy's. Hey, Merry Christmas. How you doing, Santa? It's Santa Claus. What's up, Santa? Oh, good. I just wanted to name my top three naughty list for this year. And uh, Number one is American Toro. <laughs> Stop wishing every Christmas to be Chicano. Your wish is not granted. Not ever. Stick to your Honduras culture, whatever that is. On to the next. Blue Paisa. I mean, Blue Devil. Keep making your videos, but I will not grant you your wish of the new camera. <laughs> Keep making your reaction videos. Oh. This is a Southside reaction video. <laughs> On to the next. The biggest ho, ho, ho is Pac-Man. <laughs> Keep eating your hot Cheetos, but I will not grant you your child support check this Christmas. <laughs> Neither last Christmas or next Christmas. Hey. Keep wishing. Ho, ho, ho. 
Damn, Santa, you got that That's list. That's about it. Hell yeah. All right, Thank Santa. You. And next, one more extra credit. Hey. Alex Cervantes, <laughs> please stop making those illegal smart checks. <laughs> we will be there January 1st to grant you permission to leave your space. You will not be able to be a mechanic anymore. <laughs> the city will be there January 1st. Hey, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. Appreciate Thank you, Santa. Appreciate, appreciate that. Christmas. Merry Christmas, Santa. Merry cheese, man. Hey. Merry oh, cheese, man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you. I was telling you, hit the motherfucking laugh, bro. Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? You're supposed to go, ha, 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 ha. You guys got fucking on my whole fucking flow. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. That was funny, though. Santa Claus. Thank you, Santa. Hey, shout out Santa Claus for yeah. giving that. Here we go. Call her your name, or where are you calling from? Where are you calling from? Uh, turn on your TV, bro. I can barely hear you. Antonio. What's good, my bro? Hey, when Mara Villoso coming back. What's that? When's Mara Villoso coming back? I think it's signed by Marvelous. I want him to say it. I can barely hear you, bro. Hello? Yo. Okay. I don't know, bro. Uh, he sounded depressed. Okay, let's keep going. If Marioso come, uh, Maravilloso is coming back, uh, whenever, you know, he says yes. Hmm. You know, he's my co-host, so we, he's going to come back soon. You know what's crazy, bro, that he really comes on maybe once a month. Yeah. And when I post a flyer, people go, again? Motherfucker, it's you only know, once a yeah. month. Yeah. 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 Like, that's calm it. the fuck down, bro. Here we go. Call her your name or where are you calling from? Hello, Tony. What's up, Norbies? What up, Brad Pitbull? Uh, Brad Pitbull coming from Skid Row. Hey. 10th, 10th Freeway. <laughs> but, um, hey, you know, uh, with football here coming along, um, hey, did you guys know that, that the eye fools, that they love playing football, flag football? Because um, but they usually start off as a uh, tight end, but they end up leaving the game as a wide receiver. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one, my bro. And, uh, and, um, uh, the end of the year is coming, but I just want to say thank you for everything. And I'm trying to calculate. I, I think I narrowed it down. I asked the AI, uh, why is it that everyone hates on um, on Rhodium, the other channels? And I, it, it came to the conclusion that that it's because you guys have uh, Spencer Baca in the, every uh, other yeah. channel is trying that to get him. Yes. And um, thank you. Uh, my question is, uh, what? Yes. I have a I have twenty one questions. So, what time is Spencer Baca calling in? Um, and uh, that's a good the, question. The other question is: the other question is, uh, do you guys have a Spencer Baca autograph poster there? Yes, I do. And then the, and a blow up doll. And then the la- excellent, excellent. And then um, I already forgot the other one. But um, <laughs> that, that's it. I'm, I I got I got to email Santa Claus right now because uh, I got to tell him. Uh, for my final wishes to um, uh, give the IE fools some balls to make the calls uh, next year for 2024 because, hey, if IE fools are, are so brava in the live chat, hey, they should be blowing up the lines and, you know. You got a point. Not, not, you got a point. Be, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're right. You got a great so, point. Uh, yeah, definitely. All right. So, uh, oh, oh, no, oh then, uh, my predictions for next year, uh, Tony, on yes. your... Um, on, on your um, your your documentary, yes, I, I know the the because everyone loves complaining, but I'm gonna tell you what the Texas fools are gonna complain. They're gonna say, Tony, Tony, hey, there's there's not enough SPM in your documentary. <laughs> just, just to let you know, and then the, it's gonna be the usual IE fools um complaint when when they see the documentary, Tony. They're gonna say, Tony, it wasn't long enough. So you know what I mean? So, no, I mean. <laughs> so, but, but that, that's it. Um, uh, thank you for tra- th- thank you for taking my call, uh, Spencer Baca. Oh, and also I heard that Spencer Baca's favorite song is uh, Twenty One Questions" by Fifty Cent. No, I mean, and, um, I like that song. Th- th- that's it. <laughs> thank you, my bro. Thanks, that's man. Cool. Appreciate right. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good night. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, cool. 
Don't not happy holiday me. Merry R- Christmas. Bro, I was at the. Uh, I does Riverside count as the IE? Yes. Here we go. Call it your name and where are you calling <laughs> from? Damn. Hey, it's Fred from Soledad, bro. What's up, Fred? Fred from Soledad, not the hey, prison. Nothing, man. No, no, not the prison. From from actually from my house, bro. And I'm not incarcerated. Hey. Hey, but check this out, guys. Uh, Tony and, and Norby's man. Uh, really, I just wanted to call in to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas to you and your families. Appreciate you. I wish you. you all the best. Thank you for a good 2023. Looking forward to t- looking forward to 2024, bro. That's that's all I really wanted to say to you guys, man. And oh, I want good, to thank Fred. you guys for everything you guys do, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, hey, Fred. Um, go ahead and give yes, a, give a plug to your podcast, bro. Yes, sir. Oh, my pod. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Uh, it is a uh, Two Face Entertainment uh, podcast, bro. Uh, it's a uh, YouTube backslash Two Face Ent. That's uh, T W O F A C E E N T. That's oh. what it is, man. And and really, it's just me by myself, bro. I'm just starting off. I haven't got everything I wanted to get yet, bro. Eventually, hopefully, I'll get to that point. Uh, but right now, I'm just trying to get the message across to what my opinion is, bro. And that's really it, man. It's plain that's and right. simple, brother. Thank that's you for right. that, though. That's right. All right, my brother. You stay blessed. Yeah, Merry man. Christmas. Definitely. Homie. Looking forward hey, to seeing more. You guys as well. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, man. Huh? Merry Christmas. Bye. Merry Christmas. Peace. See, I love that. I love when other, uh, you know, podcasters, yes. you know. Here we go. Call her your name and where are you calling from? Morning. Yes. Morning. Hey. We, uh, I'm just calling in. My name is Nuno. We're calling in to uh, thank you guys for the wonderful podcast you guys put up every uh, every week. Um, I remember uh, listening to you guys since, uh, when I was still in school and definitely, you know, helped me get out of when I was in a stressful situation. So from the bottom of my heart, 2023 was uh, such a great year. Thank you guys for every, everything you guys do. Thank you, thank you, my brother. Yeah, man. Hell yeah, thank you. Know you. Appreciate you. Yeah, have a blessed. Uh, yeah. No, no, I just, I just like I, you as well. Like, I, like I mentioned before, I, will, you know, during stressful situations, and you guys are just a podcast I can rely on to get me out of those, out of that state of mind, just to relieve that stress. So, thank you guys. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Thank you. Have a thank blessed you. one. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, man. Okay, we're gonna, that. yeah, we're gonna take one. about two or three more phone calls. So let's good. see who's gonna call in. Um. If you guys know any podcasters that want to call in and talk to me, uh, hit them up right now because uh, yeah. it seems like they only call me when I'm off the air. Yeah, this is the time. You know, it's uh, it's crazy though because I'm not talking about idiots like that, but you know, I just feel very happy to know that you know we help people. Yes, absolutely. Here we go. Call her your name or where are you calling from? Tony Montana. <laughs> Tony Montana. Calling from Calabasas. Yeah. Oh shit! What's up, bro? Money, baby. <laughs> What's up, man? Yeah, man. Twenty twenty four, right around the corner, baby. That's right. Yeah. So I just wanted to say that all the topics you guys touched on this year, man, have been spectacular. <laughs> I mean. Just like the last caller, man, you guys don't realize who you guys are touching, but you guys are definitely doing a great job, man. I just want to thank you guys so much, man. Thank you. You're very welcome, <laughs> Thank bro. you. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Trust me. I really do. <laughs> I, I love doing this. I love yep. saying these things. Thank you. Stony Montana, Northeast. Stony Montana, Tony. Yes, sir. God mm. bless you guys. God bless you, too. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I wanted to ask him that was real life because he sounded like a matralladora. <laughs> so, anyways, caller, your name, where are you calling from? Hey, what's up, bro? We're coming to you from Orange County. What's up, Gio? What's good, my brother? How you doing? Gio, right? What's up, bro? Yes, yeah, sir. All right. Manhunt, bro. That's right. Look, 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 look. All right, look, so I've been, I've been watching, bro. I've been keeping tabs on everybody, bro. I'm going to keep it real, right? I've been watching, um, this who um haters world. Yes. Damn, well let me start off first and foremost. This fool is playing some bullshit as fool. This fool's copying everything you guys do. Yes. Everything you guys do. Yes. He's playing he he's following suit on everything you guys do. Yes. And I don't want to talk shit, but American tongue guys is cool, dog. Yes. Everybody's playing what what you guys have been doing, everybody's yes. following suit. 
Yes. You know what I mean? Before yes. 28, nobody did nothing, bro. Nope. Nobody did nothing. There are no fucking nothing, bro. I'm not going to talk shit about uh, Hood Talk. Yeah. Because Hood Talk is on a different level. Bro. Yes. Hood Talk is gangster with the hood. Mm. I ain't going to talk shit. Dog. It's real shit. Yeah. I ain't going to talk shit on that, but everybody else, bro, they're biting like a motherfucker, bro. Straight yeah. up. No, you're and right. let me tell you another thing. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Boy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But no, let me, go, let go, me go. Just get this shit. I'm going to tell you real quick. So, this who, um, Haters was a bitch. Straight up, who straight up a bitch. This was a bitch because he always talks shit about, oh, if you haven't been to prison, you're a gangster. Tony A has never said that shit, dog. Mm. Tony A, he says, you know what? I'm not a gangster, but he doesn't say, oh, if you haven't been to, to prison, you're not a gangster. But Blue World, I mean, Haters World, whatever his mouth is saying. Yeah. He always talking about, oh, if you haven't been to prison, this and this and this and this. He always talk about prison, but the motherfucker's never been to prison. Mm. Bro, get the, get the fuck out of here. Mm. This was a bitch. Talk mm. shit up. Just like American Tongo or whatever. Yeah. That's just me, bro. I'm I'm, I'm ranting off, but I call into American Tongo right now. Like, gang of times, dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and Gio, that's Gio, just me, dog. Yeah, let me tell you right now, because he is going to make a reaction about you. So while you're on here, tell him exactly how you feel about him. <laughs> I already said it for the fool's a bitch, dog. That straight up. Okay, look, this fool. First, first and foremost, this motherfucker. He he he's been a comadre since he was in two thousand one, mm. when he was part of a uh, Mad Cock Mad Cock record mm. with Snapper mm. with with uh, whoever it was, and he's been a comadre. All he does is film, yeah. film. Yes, that in our in our time that was a comadre. Why are you gonna film shit, bro? Mm. You're fucking just gossiping. Mm. And he still does that to this day. All he does is film. That was come on. He says that he lived in the fucking Imperial Valley in Tijuana. He can't, he doesn't. He's not acting like us, bro. He's mm. not. Mm. He's not, bro. That's, let's keep it real. Mm. He he tries to claim like he's a solo Southside reaction. There ain't no Southside reaction. Motherfuckers like a little Haina, bro. Like, hey, anyways, let me go back to my shit. Everybody cop, copies of copy off of. Brody Marito. Brody Marito started this shit. If Tony A didn't start this shit, nobody was doing this shit. Mm. Straight up. Straight up. Except for uh, um, Hood Talk. I can't talk to you on Hood Talk. Yeah. Because that's a home record. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Straight up. But everybody else, Criminal Gas 2. Mm. Creamy Nalgas too. Straight up. Say it, man. Hey, say it. You right now is your chance to say it all. Say it all, man. Go for it. I'm saying it for I'm saying I'm saying what I gotta say. Mm. I'm a little fucked up because of, you know the families here and everything. Handle. But Handle, I'm a little fucked up. But I'm saying it. For, I mean, because Tony ain't never said. Oh, um, he says it, bro. He says it like I'm, I'm not from Wilmas, but I grew up in Wilmas, and he never said. Oh, you don't have to be a gangster. To, but you know this fool over here, fucking um, um, Brody. I'm oh, not Brody. Mira, que la verga. El otro güey, el pinche cara de verga. Blue Grimace. American Cholo. Oh, that one. Oh, American Cholo. Cara de, cara de pito. Mm. He'd be like, this, this is what I'm saying. This is not what you guys are saying. This is my own opinion, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so this fool says, uh, oh, these fools think they're hard because it's not, but he always brings up his YA shit, bro. That's all he has is YA. YA is YA that. Bellame la verga, fool. We all fought as kids, fool. We all fought as kids. So what? Who get the fuck over that shit? You pinche white. Tell him a la verga, dog. Straight up. The fool says, oh, los pochos de la chingada. He always talks shit about you, too. Pinche Norby. He's got a de pito. Yeah, he does. What do you got to say about that, Norby? I mean, he hasn't. What do you got to say about that? He doesn't call me. He knows he has my phone number. He doesn't call me. I'm more than willing to meet him up. Have a talk. Just don't bring, just don't bring the pepper spray. Damn fool like that? You're breaking butt cheeks or what? No, 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 like on some real shit. There's too many fucking fake ass motherfuckers out mm. here. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, let me let me let me just count them down real quick, right? Yes. And then we're gonna end this real quick. Go. Criminal guys, fool. Criminal. Uh, get the fuck out the way. The other fool. American Cholo, I get what he's doing, but you got to choose your own path, bro. You're either you're either with it 
with the homies or you're on the political shit, dog. You know, like, mm. you know, don't, don't, don't fucking sway back and forth, dog. Mm. The other one is, um, Blue Devil. That fool's a fun. I'm, I, honestly, that fool's a fun, bro. Like, that fool's a bitch and straight up. Everybody else, like, the only one that I do respect because he keeps it real, dog, is, is the fool from Hoodstock. Mm. Everybody mm. else, he copying off Tony A, bro. Because before Tony A, that I remember, it, it was nobody putting it down for Tony A. I mean, nobody putting it down for the homies mm. before Tony A. Yeah. And I get it, bro. I get it. Okay, cool. He was in the scene. When Chicano Rap was around, he was in the scene. Cool. Mm. I understand. Because I was all into that shit, too. But guess what? Nobody came around, and that shit was dead. And this whole came, came out of nowhere. Mm. He said, let's put the shit up. Let's put the shit up. That's all right. of a sudden, everybody wants to follow suit. Mm. But they want to disrespect this fool. Come on, dog. How are you going to disrespect fucking Rotor Marito, Tony? You fools going to do shit? Yep. Get the fuck yep. out of here, dog. If you're a homie, dog, if you're a homie, then just like the homie from um Orange Rider Cypress. I forgot his name, but I'm, I'm pretty sure Tony knows his name. Orange Rider Cypress. He was on his podcast. Yeah. yeah. I agree with him, bro. You know? Yeah. And yeah, I agree, homie. Like, Tony A fucking, he did this shit, dog. Like, you fools, get the fuck out the way, dog. Do your own shit. That's right. I don't know, fool, but. Thank yeah. you, my brother. I pr- truly appreciate you, brother. You know what? And I'm just going to tell you, uh, you know, thank you for keeping it real and, uh, I Merry do. Christmas to you and your entire familia, bro. Definitely. Appreciate your call and your time. Likewise. Appreciate you, man. Likewise, fool. Right. And shit, we will really have fool. All right, palabra. All right. Palabra. Palabra. Yes. Okay, we're going to take one more phone call and then we are here. You know what? I'm, man, I'm glad. I these guys, man. Well, I'm just glad that somebody, and I appreciate him, that somebody finally called and told the truth. Okay. I'm glad you didn't have, you, you know what I like? Call her your name or where are you calling from? Oh, you, hey, Tony. What's going on? Uh, this is uh, Marcelo. Marcelo. I'm calling from, yeah, I, I'm calling from Texas. Uh, and Feliz, uh, Feliz Navidad, Feliz. Uh, Feliz Navidad. Noche buena. Uh, um, what's up, Norby? What up? What up? Uh, hey, would you let your, your Chihuahua drive you around, bro? <laughs> as long as you, as long, as long as you said yo quiero Taco Bell, then I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> and that would be that one. That one was a good uh, a good story, man. I I really enjoyed that that one. Like man, like imagine imagine that like, we walk our dogs and whatnot, right? Yeah. And they're going to end up driving us around and stuff like that. That's, I don't know how you got, how, how do you even train a dog to do this shit like that? It's scary, man. It's scary. It I'll tell you scary. that much. It's scary. It is. Scary. <laughs> it is if, hey, he gets in a wreck, like who's going to be blamed? The dog or, or you or, I don't know, man. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Is a dog gonna get booked? You know. Hey, are you gonna have to put your dog in your insurance too? Like, oh, you know, that's, that's a good, good one. Question. Yeah, that's, that's gonna good. be a whole legal thing. Jeez, absolutely yeah, that's true. But, yeah, that's I, I just question. wanted to say, um, it's been it's been a, a good year, man. Uh, Thank you. Man, Thank you to y'all for, for a little bit. Uh, well, I missed some of the some of the, the last couple of podcasts just because I had a I had a weird schedule for work or whatnot. Yeah. But I still go back and rewatch, you know, most of it or not. Oh, um, uh, what's what else? Uh, uh, oh yeah, uh, Tony, you got a good you got a good platform, man. Like, uh, I don't want to sound like a dick writer, but now nah, that like before I really didn't. There was a couple of, of podcasts out there or whatnot, but they weren't really like big or or they would just not be talking about anything that i guess people were interested in yeah so it, it is man it's like we we got you got variety you know we talk about we talk about deep shit sometimes we talk about mm. you know just funny stories or mm. whatnot 
when you were Norbies, you know, it, it's you. pretty good, man. I've enjoyed it. I, ho- I hope you are, you guys stick around, you know, and keep doing it a l- little longer. I don't know, you know. Absolutely. Tony, you said plenty of terms. Yeah, you might retire from the from the from this game, you know. But I appreciate you guys and and, and have a good Christmas Eve, everybody. Y todos like todas las lacras de ahí también. You have a good one. That's Have right. a good I'll one. Feliz Navidad, share. my brother. Feliz Navidad, Take man. Me. Appreciate you. Feliz Navidad. Well, okay. Here we go. Hey, I just want to give out a shout out to uh, Dick Ryder, Jessica. Uh, tell your tell your purple grimace to uh, give us a call since you're you're dick riding so much. Uh, message him, call him. Well, we've been online, bro, for at least two hours, bro, and uh, taking calls for the last 30, 40 minutes and no calls. What I don't get is... Uh, these, you take up the headphones. What I don't get is these dick writers go so hard for these guys, you know. Somebody somebody told me... Weak men, bro. Somebody messaged me once because of this little controversy I got of calling somebody a bitch. Yeah. They told me, hey, you shouldn't use that word because that word... You know, that means that means something that's dangerous to call somebody a bitch. And for me personally, like, look, I grew up in L.A., one of the most dangerous cities in the country, also known as the gang capital of the world. When you grow up here and you survive, you know who you can call a bitch and who you can't. And when I call when me, when I call somebody a bitch, because I know I could call them that. Why? Because I know they're not going to do shit when I call them a bitch. You know, and, and Norbert, and, and in your defense, you never called him necessarily. You said stop acting. Yes, you're right. But, you know, the thing is that, that when the shoe fits, they wear it. Yeah, you exactly. Know what I'm Everybody wants to be Cinderella. Yeah, you know, but, you know, it's crazy. Like, we can say things about in general, but the, there's so, so many guys that are so, like, sensitive. They get butthurt immediately, and they put the shoe on, and it fits. And we're not even talking about them. And they're like, oh, he's got to be talking about it. He's, <laughs> he's throwing yeah. subliminals. He's got, and then they act on impulse. Then they go live. Then they start talking about, they start naming names. And I'm like, bro. Then they make it private. Yeah. And then I'm like, make it for members I'm only. like, bro, if you're going to talk about me and you have my number and you've been to my house and I've been to your house. Yes. Why can't you just call me? <sighs> Like, is that? Well, why is that that hard? Yeah. You know why? I'm going to tell you why. Why? This is my Christmas present to them. Because they're not real men. Mm. So that's it. That's it. As a matter of fact, go into your bathroom, sock yourself in the balls, and say, I'm not a real man. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it. Yeah. Shout out to you, real men. Mm-hmm. <laughs> bro, I'm just like being honest, like bro. Hey, no, look, no, hey, you know what the crazy part is? We ha- I haven't even mentioned no names. Yeah, but the Chancala will fit. Oh, definitely. They're uh, different. Different Cinderellas are gonna say, "No, he's talking about me." I know he's talking about me. I'm the only one. No, he's not talking about you. He's talking about me. Oh no, no, no. I'm talking about me. No, he's talking about me. But I'm the Norbert. only one. No, Norbert, I'm the one. What? It's me. You're talking about me, bro. Stop trying to take my credit. At least say my name. Stop trying to take my clout, Norbert. Name. No, you're talking name. about me. I'm going to strike you Stop. down. I'm going to strike you I'm down. I'm going to eat all your hot Cheetos. <laughs> like, fuck, bro. Uh, like, pinche viejas hey, culeras. You know what, Tony? I'm very happy tonight because I li- we got these callers that, you know, said that uh, we helped them out throughout the year. Yes. We, we took him out. It's a beautiful thing, We bro. We took him from a stressful situation and gave him some relief. And I always tell people, you know what? If you want to do God's work, make people laugh. Because if you can make people laugh, you can make people smile, you did God's work. Always live in servitude is what I say. 100%, bro. 100%. Um, my last words are this. Are these. You know, this is the season right now that people are home and um, some have food on the table, drinks on the table, and have money in the bank. Mm. And that's a blessing because you work for that. Yes. Okay. Then there's people that are less fortunate. Mm. They live in an apartment, maybe a one-bedroom apartment, two or three kids. Or a single. 
or a single and don't have much. Mm. If you could be a blessing to those people, I encourage you to be a blessing to those people. If it is, if it isn't financially, maybe you can bless them with some words of encouragement. And I even want to say this, Norbert, don't look at them because they're less fortunate than you mm. as that they, they are beneath you. Mm. Because every child is a diamond. It's a jewel, bro. Oh, yes. Definitely. It's a blessing, yeah. bro. Potential. You know, you know, in America, abortion is big business, okay? And I'm going to tell you why abortion is big business. Because I believe that the enemy, and I'm going to say this, and this, I'm speaking for myself. I'm not speaking for Norbert. Yeah. That the devil's behind that because your child could be the next president. Your child could be the next councilman. Your child could be, could be the next mayor. Your child could be the next, you know, governor. Mm. But we are, we're spending so much money looking life in other, in other planets instead of saving lives here. Yeah. You know, um, there are so many people behind the LGBTQ plus whatever. Yeah. The alphabet mafia. But where are the people standing up for, you know, women not have not aborting their children yeah you know and, and that's my thing like it, it, we're just so ass backwards here especially after the fucking obama and, and this fucking dementia fucking idiot joe biden yeah you know um so i don't know i, I just want to say that if you could be a blessing at this time of the season do it definitely if you can afford a little bit of money whether it's ten dollars mm. five dollars fifty dollars a hundred dollars yeah and give it to someone, even if you just put it in an envelope. Yeah. And drop it in somebody's mailbox. I'm going to tell you something, Robert. Yeah. I've done that, bro. I, I wish that would be a trend, Tony. I wish people would make videos of them doing that, slipping it under, showing the world that. Okay, know, well, I'm going to say that this. That should be a trend. Should a, be a trend. A, a, and, and my thing is this, that I'm not knocking what you said. As a matter of fact, I agree with you, what, what you say. Yeah. But there's been times that when I can afford $500 to give away. Yeah. A hundred dollars in each envelope, and then go drop it randomly. Yeah, you know, in homes. Yeah, and never filmed myself, mm. but I want them to think, "Wow, somebody blessed us with Definitely. this." You have to be a blessing because let me tell you something, and I've always said this since day one: I've been blessed to be a blessing. God mm. has blessed me abundantly. Yes, to be a blessing. Mm. So I'm going to continue to do this until I take my last breath because the last thing that I want on my tombstone when I die, yeah. here lies a God-fearing man. Yeah. And that's when, when I say I, I fear, meaning that I reverence, I honor, and I love God. So if he blessed me, I have to bless others. If God blessed me with a million dollars, those are not my million dollars. Those are my million dollars to bless people with. Mm. That's what I'm going to do. So, that's right. so have a very... Very blessed Christmas. A very blessed New Year. Definitely. And if you're a child watching this, I, I just want to say this, that um, God has blessed you. And I speak life into you. Get good grades. Make your parents proud. Move on up. Prove everybody wrong. Keep winning and bless others. Definitely. Norbert, shout outs. I'm going to go the opposite of that. Fear God. You don't have free will. You are love. God does love you, and God does see the potential in you. You don't have a choice in fearing Him because, at the end of the day, when you die, you're only gonna go one place. And if you acted wrong, God will definitely let you know that you acted wrong. So I definitely fear God. For me. And that's for me, that's a good thing to fear God because that reminds me that I shouldn't act a certain way because God will be angry at me. Aside from that, again, much love to all the callers that showed so much love to this show, to this segment. Uh, last year when Tony said, you know what, just look up some stories and let's, let, let's, let's do something with it. Let's talk about it and let's do this show. Never did I imagine somebody would call in and say thank you for helping me out in a situation where I was very stressed because of school or because of work and or life. 
and for somebody to call for people to call in and say those things like that really makes that really makes me feel very humbled very happy because honestly i just did this because you know it's tony a's ideas thoughts suggestions and i was like let's go with it and to hear people at the end of the year call in and say that you helped me out that like you know that's a blessing that that's a that's a blessing because i don't i'm not used to hearing somebody say that to me yeah. I, you know i don't know about you tony but i'm not i'm not used to somebody saying that to me so for me that that really hits my heart because i truly do love all you guys all the live chats all the people that hit the like all the people that tell their friends to watch tony vision to watch rodian radio to watch news with norbies to watch conversations with marvelous to watch every single show that this man comes up with and that people really do copy it but you know at the end of the day when tony does this it's it's for a positive thing for our community, for our people, for our culture to uplift us, to make. I mean, you don't hear him talking shit. You hear him just bringing up people that you don't know, that I don't know. But he brings them, uh, he puts them on this chair that, so that you can know, so they can grow. And I've met so many people throughout this year that he's helped. I've seen so many shows to have the Rodian Radio lineup. Yeah. That I'm so happy that they are up there performing, doing their thing, growing, showing the people what kind of talent that we have. Absolutely. <sighs> Norbert, you know, I don't know if you noticed, but the whole time your elf or troll hat fell off. Did you take it off by yourself? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know. I want you to grab it. See if you can find it. Emmy? Alice, can you grab it for him? Sure. Alice, can you grab it? Can't reach it? Okay. But aside from that, again, I just want to say... Just grab it, bro. I'll, oh, shit. Okay, put it back I on. I don't bro. remember it. Hit my Your costume there. needs to be put back on. Uh, This way. No, that's good. Anyways... Again, I just wanted to leave off saying thank you to everybody that has gone through 2023 watching us and <laughs> listening to our stories that we put out there. Shit, I can't believe it's been over a year since News with Norbies has been on. I want to say thank you to Tony, Alex, Hip Hop Jedi, Be Scandalous, Marvelous Inc. You yes. know. Okay. For making everything come together. And you guys that have been watching, all of you guys that talk in here in the live chat. You sound like a fun. farewell story, bro. Just like, sound cheerful. No, this is, well, yeah, because it's the end of the year. It's the end well, of the year. Well, it's not the end of You're going to be back before oh, New Year's. Oh, man, next year, You're man. You're going to be back before, before New okay, Year's. Well, before New Year's. But I just want, those calls really hit home, Tony. Yes. All good, no I, I'm not used to it. But aside from that, Shout out to all of you guys that are definitely still defending us and other people's platforms. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what? I want to say something. I got one gift for Norbert. Hey. One gift. And I want him to open it in front of you guys. Something that I preached all year. So here it goes. Norbert, I'm going to give you a gift. I want you to read the card. I want you to open it. Let's go. This is the gift that I have for Norbert, okay? Hey. So you can see. Norbert, read the card. Tell me what you read. And then... Um, no, no, no. Don't open it yet. Read the card. Oh. oh. What does it say? <laughs> read it out loud. Norby's love, comma, Tony. Love right. from Tony. That's right, man. Okay. Thank you, man. You got it. So go ahead and open it. I want everybody to see what it is. I have a feeling it's a thong. Like no, keep going, thought. keep going. Oh, no way. I already feel it. Go ahead. Wow. Dude wipes. Dude wipes. <laughs> Dude wipes. 
<laughs> Dude, I, wives. I need you to wipe your ass right, homie. Mint chill. I don't know why they would make it mint, but... It tingles. It, I would assume, yeah, they would tingle. And I'm going to tell you why. This guy at Club Rhodium took a shit in, in, the room, in the bathroom and then went out there and started dancing. So you could just imagine his cheeks <laughs> rubbing and fucking his cheek closer, letting out gases. That and, and you, but you, you, you guys will be able to see next year okay. when we do, hopefully, another yes. club rodeo. Absolutely. So here's what I'm going to do, okay? I want, I'm calling over to the test. He claims, I don't want dude wipes, no. My thing is this, like, bro, wipe your ass with toilet paper. After you see that it's white, take one wipe and wipe it. And you're going to see all the fucking residue left over. So I'm calling out all you guys, wash your ass. Did you wash your ass oh, yeah, today? That smells good. It smells good. So that's my thing. Anyways. My eyes going to smell minty fresh. Anyways, yes. Everybody, once again, much love, much respect. Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas. Fuck happy holidays. I love you guys. I love you, Raza. If you guys ever want to talk to me, call me on my shit. If you guys ever want... You know, whatever. My new number, hit me on, uh, you know, rodeonradio.gmail.com and we'll have a conversation. I don't have a problem with you guys. So, because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. I want to Alex Cervantes, my son, B. Scandalous, uh, the Hip Hop Jedi, uh, Marvelous Inc., News of Norby's, and Magic Girl, our moderator, which you guys are going to get her new music and visuals. I can't next wait. Year. Next year. Much love, much respect. We're out of here. Thank you. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. This is Los Angeles. This is Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking news. Gang, gang, gang capital of the nation. This is Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking, breaking news. This is Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking news. This, this is Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking, breaking news. Gang, gang capital of the nation. Oh, <laughs>